All right, foolish mortals. Let's get this show on the road. Core, put on your Yakuza hat. All right, let me just get it under the bed sheets. <laughs> I just need to make an alternate version where it's just a little lump on top of it, and it's like, did you hit him? No, 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 he's wearing a hat. Don't it's worry. just hanging up one of my horns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of that, we also have another redeem. Well, okay, so you know the cat hat redeem? Yes. We have a new hat. Oh, yes, I know. I've seen it. You, you saw that you've seen it. You saw me doing my test on it. <laughs> yes. It's adorable. But we will not share it here unless you randomly get it. So for 1,000 points, I think I should lower the price of the cat hat. 500 points? Yes, 500 points. 500 points for cat hat. People are going to be like, you're doing a lot of point changing. Yeah, well, not a lot of people do the freaking my freaking redeems that I worked so hard on. Half of these I made myself. Everyone loves the sumo one. How'd you know it was that one? Because that's the ultimate sumo sound. I used to redeems. <laughs> yes, Bob. Yeah, I, th I think Tim and I have proven that the redeems are very much used. <laughs> yeah, Crystal Marathon. We must contain the horn. You can't contain what is uncontainable. You can only stop it for a small amount of time. <laughs> I use the sound alerts too. True. Before they were stolen away. Hey, 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 I had to remove the sound alerts because the sound alerts have been acting like a bitch lately. Also, I have merch now. Woo! Would you like merch? I have merch. <laughs> Get hats, hoodies, and shirts. There's no hats. Oh, I should definitely refresh it up then. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's shirts, mouse pads, stickers, mugs. Do you happen to be a huge fan of the world's greatest alpaca butler? He's on a mug. He I'll tell you to drink. See, look. <laughs> I love that. Drink. Look, look, look at our alpaca. Okay. All right, let's get into this game and stop being silly. Thank you, Sebastian. We love you dearly. Anyway, two player versus mini games. Continue the game. Let's make sure I get the right one. Oh, do we want to talk about how your shit got turned into an NFT? Can, can you hear the? Can you hear my aging? Um, yeah. <laughs> an artwork I did. See, okay, so context. I'm an. I was an artist. For, I'm an artist for a long time. One of the main things I did as an artist was I was a colorist. And I did a lot of collaborations with a lot of people. Hello, giant cone that does not have Majima in it, which is sad. Um, what, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to look around for a uh, zombie Majima. Anyway, so that's our hunt, zombie Majima. I need to get the art of sumo slapping. Majima husband. Majima husband. Anyway. So, I hear him. Majima, are you No more talk of NFTs. Husband only. Punch him in the balls. I haven't gotten that ability yet. Wait a minute. Uh, so, oh. an artwork I did... Okay, so I used to be mainly a colorist for a long-ass time until I full-on did drawing. Which is how you get this... Hey, Survivor. Um, and so one of the things I did was collaborations with other artists to color their artwork. It's an actual legitimate job in comics. We all know and love it. <coughs> anyway, so as I was doth doing the research, as I was just doing... Uh, so six years ago, I did an artwork of Harley Quinn. And... Apparently, someone took my art of Harley Quinn, which isn't even my art. It's mine plus someone else's art. And... Plus two someone else's even, I bet. I think. Uh, and basically made it into an NFT? Kind of? It's weird, because it has the handle, that, the name I use on ArtStation. It has the title. I do have those things, but it doesn't have the art itself on it, which is weird. So I'm sitting here going, I don't know if I can sue, and now someone explained going, it has your name on it, you have the right to say you never consented to be a part of the thing, da-da-da-da-da-da, and you can technically kick some ass and get takedowns. Oh, yeah. Now. 
Yeah, I'm currently getting some takedown advice. Yes, we're playing oh, yeah. baseball. Go, go for the throat. Absolutely get him to take it down. Yeah, because this is what we call la bullshit. Because I am very verbal. Verbal? Verbose. Verbose. Very anti-NFT. You, if you've been on my Twitter, you've seen my anti-NFT stuff. You have the same disposition on NFTs that's, that Team Four Star does. Just no. Yeah. Oh, good to good to know that Team Four Star isn't evil. Oh yeah, they put it on on their uh, YouTube page. Just like many of you may may have been asking, hey, Team Four Star, are you going to start getting into NFTs? And we are proudly here to tell you, no. Fuck off. <laughs> Just fuck off. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I guess because I'm not hitting any of the targets. But I suck at baseball, so... See those targets up there? You're supposed to get points that way. I never get points. The only NFTs we talk about are nice fucking tits. Or testicles. Hell yeah. We'll talk about Majima's NFTs. Oh my. And Kiryu's. Oh I really suck at baseball, can you tell? It's alright. Everyone sucks at baseball. This is the beginner course and I am failing. How does baseball work? It's a miracle I'm hitting the ball. Listen, listen. Oh yeah, nice fluffy terriers are also allowed. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. We do love our fluffy pit bulls. Uh, figure out an NFT that involves fondue. Ooh, uh, Norse fondue, uh, fondue teachings. The Norse are teaching us about fondue? Shut up. No, now as you see, we go ahead and put the foot into the fire right there. And we just go ahead and scoot it in, scoot it in. What is that and accent? Now we're gonna, now what we're gonna do... Add a little bit of a uh, rum to it. You don't. November fondue time. <laughs> yes. Perfect time to have fondue in the midst of cold. It freezing cold. Or you know, just a mild breeze here in Texas. <sighs> mild breeze. And then February comes along. And kicks November's ass. This game is hard. I don't like it. Pat, there's a reason a batting average of 33 is actually really like good. You. That ain't how you swing a bat, Majima husband. Are you in an outfit? Please be hanging on the net. Please be wearing a set. I was gonna say baseball outfit, but baseball outfits are like some of the most least sexy uniforms out there. They really are. <laughs> Ooh. No, no, no. What about the baseball outfits in a league of her own? You know, the little skirty uh, things. Look it up. <laughs> I'm looking it up. Okay, hold on. I have to, I have to fix, adjust my hair. Everybody, quick. See under the hood. There's hair? Yes, there's hair under my hood. Shadow being can change their form into anything they want, remember? Under there? Okay, yes. Can you choose to have hair? What's wrong with having hair? I don't know, it just gets dirty. I can floof it. I can pull it back into a ponytail that's long enough to braid and then turn it into a whip. I don't see where there's a problem. <laughs> Improvised weapon. On that note, hold on a moment. I just heard cries of pain. I'll be right back. <laughs> like there nothing but fucking hair. I love how you all assume I'm just a cat. I've told you, I'm a shadow being. Being. Majima. I wanted sexy you. Don't make me draw you in one of those... Maj uh, make me draw Goro me in one of those League of Their Own costumes. I will do it. After I finish drawing sexy Ignis. And post up that other sexy artwork I've drawn of you. And that other sexy art. And that other sexy art. Those two aren't of Majima. 
I think. Wait. Yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> Is Majima gonna teach us baseball? Are we gonna have a- Oh, I was gonna make a joke about tender baseball moment. Baseball, baseball bat, baseball bat, baseball, baseball, baseball bat, baseball bat, baseball bat, baseball bat! Okay, guys. Baseball! Bad up. Oh, my baby's curled up in pain. Fuck off! Okay, that's it. Rush style. Damn it, he hit me. Why does he get a bat? Because it's thug. Do you remember Slugger Majima in Yakuza 0? I remember, but still, why does he get a bat? Because it's his shtick, you dimwit! And why is he using it like a freaking nunchuck? Because he is the master of the bat! Don't question Majima, husband! Not dueling bats. anybody out there who has access to music duel of fates right now <laughs> please play over this i can't for copyright reasons we will do the kazoo version kazoo get out wait hold on i took i i forgot how duel of fates goes oh my lord oh majima husband why you hurt me 
Sweetie, darling, I thought you were sexy. I, I, I didn't say baseball uniforms weren't sexy. I didn't consider the league of their own outfits, babe. Darling. Yes. I want to add something to your uh, to your art, art counter. Why? Making a PBJ sandwich with Kiryu, Majima, and baseball bats. How is that a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? The baseball bats are in the middle. Are you trying to make a sex joke right now? I'm not. Survivor is. Survivor. Naughty Survivor. We expect better from you. No, we know. <laughs> Survivor's been around me. I've influenced him. Lieutenant Savaya, we're the, with the Inquisition. We would like to have a word with you. Since when? <laughs> you ain't the only one who got dodgy skills. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut, peanut butter jelly, jelly and a baseball bat. bat. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly and a baseball bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Damn. Oh, like how you are. We got another follower. Follower bot. Kick its ass. Take its name. Oh, wait, there's a bot. Motherfucker. I thought that was a follow. I saw the word follow. Oh, it is. Was it? <laughs> First one to get it gets my eternal love. Die! Now remember to delete the message. Ah, uh, thank you, Survivor. That was a double team effort right there. Round of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> I love your reason, Survivor. Follower bot. I mean, it's a good reason. It is a very good reason. Oh, boy. I, I got the shoddy and Survivor got the melt -a gun I have a ballista. No, apparently oh, my yeah. D and my yeah, Thursday... Here Fun fact, in my D&D uh, &D group, uh, our DM has little, like, military terms for us. Apparently my character is the Ballista, one shot, death. <laughs> that speaks volumes of what your class is. Rogue. <laughs> yep, nope, that'll do it. Rogue, sneak attack, steady aim, really, uh, sharpshooter, all the, add a bunch of these things, I'm suddenly the Ballista. Oh, what, are you gonna add fighter? Fighter champion to that? Don't Just tempt have some me. Fighter with more fighter on. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Anyway, listen. If I had action surge, y'all be fucked. Don't give a rogue action surge. Action surge and you crit on nineteens and twenties. Which I've been hitting a lot of nineteens. So. Oh, Majima, I do things to you. Cuddles mostly. Oh, guys, do you like snacks? Help with the ad. Core, do you? <laughs> snacks. Love snacks. Well, would you like to fuel your body with deliciousness? It's 100% absolutely. What kind of snacks are there there to get? Bear cat? Well, there's candies, jerkies, popcorn, cookies, brownies. Fantastic. I love popcorn. <laughs> Flavored popcorn, too. Um, Ooh. Go to the create. yelled at by my dentist. Go to the Creation Snack Company, uh, creationsnack.com, and use and use uh, Black Moon Rose as a as your code, so I can get some money and you get some discounts. Uh, oh yeah, I'm remember, kids, nothing helps depression than a bag full of candy. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, guys, I think I have all my circles filled. I technically don't have to go- Oh, I don't have all my circles filled yet. Darn it! I am missing 
three. I'm missing four points, and then I'll have all my circles filled, and then we can just focus on this nightmare. Holy crap. Are you scared of me? I am. I am. Ask I am that level of scared that turns back around into intimacy. That's the level of scared I am. Hi, I'm Kat. I basically f fight my husband, Majima, frequently. Not frequent enough, apparently. I just, I just imagine Majima just hiding in a trash can. Majima husband. Mm -hmm. Oh god. He, oh god, she's around. <laughs> That's what everyone's been doing a joke about. Tim even made that joke because I went, oh, Majima husband. And he's like, that is the most nightmarish thing to ever hear ever. I go, why? Just imagine out in the shadows, Majima walking down the street in the shadows. Oh, Majima husband. Cling. Uh -huh. Where, oh, where did you go? Husband. I'm looking for that big, fat bat of yours. <laughs> uh, check the email. Flash Step Reborn. Do I have that email? Y'all thought I was going to see something else, didn't you? Y'all perverts. <laughs> Y'all are nasty. We like you. Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, Yakuza. Y'all are nasty. Kill. We like you. You're good company. Flash. Flesh up reborn. I'm not. Where where is that Majima location? I need to find him and kiss him. I mean what? I mean yes, but also kick his ass. Uh. Just hear a twig snap. There he is. Move towards the PC part shop in the stadium to trigger him. Okay, the PC part shop. There's a PC part shop. You can tell how much I've been focusing on the locals. Because I need to go to... Also, the survivor, yes. Mental health is important. Where's the PC part shop? Map. Map. Map, don't tell me. Okay, batting setter, so there's a PC... Oh, no. Is Kiryu you getting into Bitcoin? Kir I, I saw the alignment chart. Kiryu doesn't know what Bitcoin is, does not invest. Majima knows what Bitcoin is, does not invest. <laughs> 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 I'm like... Good choices. I, I need to go to the uh, Kabuki drugstore. It's not Kabuki Cat. It's pronounced something else. You know this. Stop saying Kabuki. It's a running gag. We know. But it's very, very bad of a running gag because it makes it sound like you're an ignorant white American. I, I do feel like Majima would, would know what a Bitcoin is. Get very fucking mad at the thought of a Bitcoin. And here's... just break it into a Bitcoin farm and just break every server. Okay, so here's a fun fact. And it won't be spoilerific. But it is actually canon that Majima gives a shit about the environment. <laughs> oh, he would go ape shit then. Oh yeah, he gives a fucking shit because like there's a whole cutscene where he talks about where a friend of his, I won't go into spoiler territory who this friend is and all that jazz, goes, it's been getting warmer every summer. And he goes, yeah, that's because of the hole in the ozone layer and all that jazz. And I'm sitting here going, Majima cares about the environment. And now I'm just imagining Majima going into a Bitcoin farm and just destroying it. I love this. What? I'm getting a phone call. Who's calling me? Hey, it's Nishida from the Majima family again. Hi. You ride in taxis, don't you? In fact, you take them all over town, right? Oh, no. Majima wanted to ask if you could please fucking stop. We're... We're using too much gasoline. <laughs> Majima told you to walk. It's good for your ass. I know there was another Majima oh, thing yeah, I was supposed to look... Oh, no, I already did the batting cages one. Um, okay, first we're gonna go shopping. I do love it. Where is Majima? Uh, everywhere. Fuck. Actually, that reminds me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I have to yell at my wife about something. Don't yell at your wife. Unless it's for okay. something... I'm yelling at her to exercise. Okay, you can yell at your wife. <laughs> via, via text. Via text. Yelling via text. So they're all capitalized. Because I wanted to keep, keep her around, damn it. God. At least you're doing it in a more kinder way. Unlike my ex! I'm better. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's some ice cream. It's your favorite flavor. <laughs> here's, here's a blanket. Here's some ice cream. You watch them. 
Watch your favorite TikToks and YouTubes. Get the funnies out. Get the funnies. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm now slowly gonna turn this into my ang into an angry ex bit, where it's like I'm angry at my, <laughs> just like that's what my ex did. And look where hey, he. You know what? That, that's what a lot of uh, female comedians do. I mean, it works. A lot of lady comedians just going, oh yes, it it was not very good, like my ex last night. Anyways. <laughs> Eh, like my ex, anyway. <laughs> Wait till he just randomly pops into my stream to see how I'm doing. Here's me just bash talking him, and just be like, "Ah, she's doing great." Uh, where do we want to go? Ah, to I eat? see she's dealing. I see she's going along healthily. Oh, huh, she's doing great. She's coping. I think. If if you can laugh, you can, you can heal. Listen, trauma is the basis of a lot all of my humor. Okay. Trauma is the base of a lot of humor. Some people are like, you have a lot of problems. Yeah. And you're using humor to take care of them. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's a smart idea? Yep. Laughter is a very good form of medicine. Laughter is the best form of medicine, bitches. Okay. If you can laugh at, if you can laugh at it, you can heal from it. And if you can heal from it... What the heck happened? Cat hat. Oh, which hat? I can't remember which meow that one is. I think that's either Marsh. I think that's Marshmallow or that's Vincent. Toshi. It's Toshi. Toshi! Yeah, Mom calls him Vincent. I call him Toshi. That name is better. Okay, but he looks like a Toshi. Does it look like a weird chicken nugget? Uh, it's not. It's not the furry chicken nugget. So it's not. It's not white and brown fluffy. It's chicken nugget colored. That would, yes. be to that would be Toshi. Someone said that that drawing of Toshi looks like a chicken nugget. I go, he's not a chicken nugget. Nugs? Is Nugs. he a hairless cat? No, he's just an, he's just an oriental short hair. He looks weird. <laughs> oh, God, I haven't drinking at this place ever. Oh, God, we have drinking to do. Grape soda, anyone? That does not sound alcoholic in the slightest. Oh, God, there's a shit ton of salmon. Stir-fried bean sprouts, please. We haven't eaten at this restaurant at all. So that means we need to go to this restaurant more often so we can get the experience points, even though I don't really need them. Yes, you do. Okay, let's... Mm. Mm. Happy cat... Happy cat hat for the good cat. Thank you. All right, let's go find Majima husband. Oh, uh, Majima husband. I heard you took up taxi driving. Oh, that is not the cash cab I want to find myself in. It's cash cab I want to find myself in. What? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cat, you thirsty again? Yeah, he would turn around and just be like, "All right, where you go?" Oh no! <gasps> oh look, he's in the tux. Look at him! Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can get a better camera angle. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh yeah, I can see him. I can see him. Look at him! He's adorable. That'll be 582. Cash or card. Let's go to Shinfuku Street West. Very well, sir. <gasps> Husband. <laughs> Do I have my finger on the screen grab button? I swear, I'm going to get a stream deck, and it's basically its whole purpose in life is to be the screen grab button. <laughs> Please be sure to, like, put a sound effect to that. Just a bunch nope. of camera shutters. That's what this <laughs> fun... F Fun fact, uh, the screen grab sound do for Steam does have a sound effect, and I turned it off because people kept noticing how much I was doing it. Oh my god, turn it back on. No, because then you hear pew, 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 over and over and That's over again. That's a problem? I don't find that a problem. I find that hilarious. Because it's just like, why is she taking so many screen grabs? Majima, Majima, and Majima. Thank you very much for using Majima Taxi Company as your transportation of choice today. Our car- Oh no! He has a transportation service! They're all freaking hybrids! Hell yeah. Listen, if I'm gonna do this- nothing but Teslas. No, 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 no. Fuck Tesla. Tesla supports B Bitcoin. Oh yeah, fuck Tesla. No, all ours oh, are- No! No, I know what he would drive. He drives that little- Little Citroen Amy from France. Those are adorable cars. They are so adorable. I want one. So America. Just, 
get your shit together and get me an Amy. I love the idea of, like, people are making fun of his Amy. People see the Amy car making fun of him, and then Majima just comes out with a baseball bat, like, what were you saying about my girl? <laughs> uh, it wasn't bad, actually, but you owe me an explanation. I figured you were butting right up against that old dragon of Dojima strength. You use a half- oh, oh, oh. So we were gonna fight on a pier. You gonna take your shirt off? And your pants? And your shirt? And your pants? And your- And then put the vest back on? Yes. And wear these booty shorts? Don't ask why they're bedazzled. Or why there's a there's a long cup cut up the sides. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And fishnets. Sure. And fishnets. <laughs> fishnets. And the word ju Majima would own a pair of freaking juicy shorts uh, unironically. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, Majima, why are you wearing these shorts that say juicy on them? Oh, that's what's advertising. For what? my ass <laughs> well you know how we have you know how america has a bunch of weird things that are written in kanji and they don't really mean anything in japanese japan uh, yeah. has japan has the same thing but with english words like some random kid will just wear a shirt that says milk <laughs> oh i oh my god that's what that's about yeah you didn't know that no, no i i always wondered that like why is this Fucking DBZ character just have milk on their freaking shirt. No, it's a thing in America, so I could totally see Majima doing that with juicy shorts. People are like, okay, why are you hold taking? On. Hold what? on a moment. I'm get I'm getting talked back at. Get on the bike. <laughs> get on the bike. I'll give you ice cream later. Yeah. Oh god, I just now noticed something about this outfit Majima's wearing. And that is... It's unflattering as fuck. It makes him fat. Oh, yeah, I am noticing the the belly tightening. Like, seriously, like, when he's in the... Uh, when he's in the officer uniform, he looks nice and sleek. I'm wondering if they just took Majima's head and put it on the taxi driver's body. <laughs> Which, knowing how video games try to cut corners, this would not be the shock, most shocking thing I've been told... seen. Uh, I wouldn't... I wouldn't blame Majima for... I, I wouldn't put him past Bonjo for ripping his own head off and putting it on someone else's body. You know we what I meant in the video game country. Behind the curtain. <laughs> I know, I know. Ooh, better not hold back. Are you guys gonna finally boink? You gonna finally kiss? Out on a dock, more or less. You rogues. Naughty. <sighs> Very naughty. Somebody could be looking about with a binocular at this point. Where did those binoculars go? Why does he have a lightsaber? That's not a lightsaber, that's a knife! I'm sorry. When has a knife ever glowed purple? When it's full of energy and anime. Why are you questioning this shit? I always question this shit. As if it's a lifesaver, that means he's like Mace Windu. And if he's like Mace Windu, that means he's sexier than than could be imagined. It does. Although we already established that he's like a gray Jedi, right? Yes. Well, both of them are gray Jedis, to be perfectly honest. It's, I think, Ma no, wait, we said Majima's more like a light-colored synth. Because we're like, yeah, he does crazy bad shit, and he's very emo in touch with his emotions and does the crazy shit. Like a synth, he just doesn't do the evil shit. Yeah. He's I would love to see a character like that in Star Wars. Why do I feel like- I was about to say, I thought you were going to say, I would love to see Majima dressed as a Sith, and I'm like, I'm not drawing that, I have 15 other things to draw. Uh, just Majima has, like, what Darth Maul is. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Kiryu just in there in the Jedi robes going, I think I got- like, Majima be like, why are you wearing those stupid nerd outfit? I go, they're comfy. <laughs> why are you... <laughs> Look at those nerds. Meanwhile, he's dressed up as Darth Maul. Yeah. It's like, why are you dressed up as Darth Maul? Because Vader's too much of an asshole and... <laughs> and freaking... And, uh, crap, what's his name? The one in the newer ones. You know who I'm talking about. The one who killed Han. Kylo? Yes, and Kylo's a bitch. <laughs> 
See, I'm sorry. I think that if they were Star Wars fans... I'm sorry. I'm going to ruin everyone's bubble right now. <laughs> Kylo's a bitch. I mean, he he had his great moment in The Last Jedi, and then they fucked him over in Return of the Skywalker. They yeah. had such a cool original plan with him and Rey to be like, now these two opposing sides. And like, Rey has finally figured out, oh, you're just a fucking toxic person. You, you yeah, and then they... Nice and then they tried to make it into a whole romance thing because, no offense, your fan, you, your fans fucked it over. And basically, Disney is one of those assholes who will listen to something that will make the fans happy more than, you know, actual good quality shit. Because, yeah, like, uh, basically what I say is Disney listens to the fans in, a, in the bad way. A.K.A. they will either bend over to them or they're going to be like, oh crap, they fought, figured it out. Now we got to quickly rush to change this into something else so they don't catch on. Because that's what they did with uh, WandaVision. People were making guesses and, like, figuring out shit. And they would, like, change and edit everything up. And, oh my god, the retakes. Probably added another million to that budget. It, it was so heartbreaking to learn, like, what happened to Rey as a character finding out, oh, she wasn't going to be a conventional Jedi. Like, the entire fucking story was about. She wasn't a conventional Jedi. She was something else. She could use both the dark and the light and be pretty much okay about it. Yeah, and I would love to have seen that. I would love to have more Jedi that are like, oh yeah, I can do Force Lightning. I just don't do it that often unless the bitch deserves it. A chaotic good, if you will. Yeah. Because you can even tell that she was like... Because there's like even in the uh, the very first uh, Jedi movie... Uh, new Jedi movie. Oh. Where it's all like that one character that's voiced by Lupa something or other. She's like, light and dark aren't the only options. You don't have to be a Jedi or a Sith to use a freak use the Force. I'm like, oh, they're planning something really interesting in there. And I really like the idea of talking about Force users that are beyond Jedi and Sith. That's some interesting yes. world ideas. And the amount of times they hint it in the shows, the amount of fucking lore drops that they're like, oh yeah, there's this entire people that practice the Force, both signs, and they actually had a very cultivated and rich history and civilization. But nah, it's good and evil. We have to have that dynamic. Ain't no such thing as freaking gray or neutral, no. Oh my god, it... It made me so mad. She could have had a double lightsaber. We could have had a Jedi, a main character Jedi, that had that didn't need a single bladed lightsaber. She could have been dual bladed. She could. Well, I love the people that some people came up with. Like her lightsaber would be on her staff, and she'd have a cool glaive option. I'm like, yes, glaive, yes. Instead, we get that stupid Darth R Darth Ray version, where it's just like, is that on a hinge? Did you put your lightsaber on a flimsy fucking hinge? Majima, can you please stop hitting us while we're talking about freaking lightsabers? <laughs> this is the nerdiest conversation I think we've ever delved into. <laughs> I don't know. I've had some... We've had D&D &D conversations. I know, but, like, everybody... D&D &D has gotten into such, like, the mainstream realm where it's like, oh, D&D is, like, everybody playing it. Yeah, and I have nothing against that. Before you, th I was gonna say, before people think we're complaining about it, we're not complaining about it. We're very happy about it. Yeah, we. we you know how e much how much easier it is for me to buy dice now, as well as support local resin makers. Which, by the way, people give me money. I need to buy some more dice. Would you believe also, the, the X? Of, okay. The amount of third-party content out there. Holy shit. shit. I know, right? And it's easier to access, so now it's available for everyone. Do you want to play a Corgi? Go on to DM's Guild right now. There's a free Corgi you can play as. Do you want to play as a senti potato that gets carried around by Mage Hand? Yes. It's there. You can find it. God damn it, Majima has that cool ability. I don't have it available yet for dragon fighting style. Fuck. I think I'll get it once I defeat Taxi Cab Majima. Majima! Stop being a dick! Let me love you!
What? I'm sorry, my wife's a weirdo. What's what? What's weird? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you'll see it when you go back on the VOD, but she just popped in, looked me dead set in the, the eyes. These fucking cold, dead eyes just staring at me like a dog's eyes and went, and just left. Ah, oh, Majima's being a little sneaky butt? Yes, exactly. It's Majima, husband. He does that all the time. See? Zephron understands. Nothing's more romantic than fighting at a dock. What? Or why oh, did you? I just lost, I just lost connection from him. Oh, you fine? Okay. I believe so. I might go yell at Charter though. Who's Charter? Oh, is oh, that or an internet provider? Oh, okay. I'm sitting here going. My brain was like, that's either an internet provider or you've named your freaking router. Both options are viable with you. <laughs> Try Charter. It's harder. I do love this. Huff, huff. You don't know when to quit. How many skills do you keep hitting? Things that you would say in a gay porn. Oh my. <laughs> Getting rough with Manila with the lights off. Maja Majima, not Manila. Yeah. I'd like to point out, all these screen grabs I'm grabbing, I'm going to provide the wiki with a shit ton of stuff they need. Because no offense, the Yakuza wiki is lacking in the gallery department, especially when it comes to the Majima Everywhere shit. So, <laughs> I am doing a service with all my screen grabbing. Sure, let's go with that. Shut up. Oh, uh, we are doing very fine, Zephron. Thank you for asking. Well, we at least are... I'm doing fine. I don't know about Kat. Like... I'm doing great. Like my, Unlike my ex! She... She's like a hurricane, like, at one point, it's fucking disastrous, and everything's getting thrown around. Then there's a period of calm, and then it just reverts back. I am now rank S with Majima everywhere. I now have Tanfa and Nochaku Mastery. Ooh, oh. I love Tanfas. Hits you with Tanfa. Do you still love Ow, them? No, I don't like Tanfas. I now have the ability of crushing elbow moves. Nice. Okay, everyone. As you can clearly see, I have filled up all of these. Those la those th those experience points are just extra. Oh my god. Are you scared, my I child? This man can break me, and I'd say thank you. Majima? No, cure you. Oh. Oh, okay, everyone. He's depressed. Everyone, we gotta hug him. Hug him. Zephron, you get over here. You get big dragon hug. Ah. So what were we talking about while we were playing Star? Talking about Star Wars. I know I was gonna say something about Star Wars. Oh no no no! We were talking about D and D, and I was like, I can support dice makers, and all that jazz, right? Did I tell you whenever I would look for dice, my ex basically was like, "You already have enough dice." I'm like. There's not enough. <laughs> yeah. And no, he was like, I even mentioned you need multiple dice because if you play characters at higher levels, you need to roll multiple dice, da da da. It's just easier to do that than just stick on what set and all that jazz. And then he goes, okay, then why don't you buy this? He sends me a link to an Amazon page where it's a bunch of dice for super cheap. I'm like, dude, you don't do that. You don't buy super cheap dice like that. Why not? It's a bunch of dice and it's cheaper. I had to explain to him the co he he just was like, but you wanted a bunch of dice. Why don't you just buy all the, this this set of one hundred? I'm like, no, sweetie, darling, no. You don't understand. That's not quality. Wizard does not pick a wand. A wand picks a wizard. Also, those are almost likely very cheaply made and are full of more bubbles than a freaking. <laughs> I don't oh, yeah, know. Probably coated in lead. Oh yeah, also coated in lead. Let's not forget that. And he's like, and you'd rather support people who make it out of resin. Yes. Which is also bad for you. No, raw resin is bad for you. Yeah. Yeah, you could spend a hundred, you could spend a hundred, like 20 bucks on a hundred cheap dice, or you can spend 15 bucks 
on dice that represent you. Exactly. Like, I got these lovely pansexual dice from Foam Brain Games. Wonderful people. I love these dice so much. Yes. I have a set of yep. dice which someone pointed out looks like the ace flag, and I go, no, I just like the colors. <laughs> I didn't consider that. And I went, but then you drop for three seconds. Oh, that's probably why I like it. No, I'm not. I'm I'm a I'm pan as fuck. Hi, I'm pan as fuck. Welcome. Well, bias. Why as fuck. did I pick your ace? What the fuck? No, I'm bias. Excuse me. I mean, there are horny aces out there, but <laughs> semantics. <laughs> Majima husband. Majima husband. Where are you, sweetie? Just going around. Starts entering male locker rooms. Majima. Dude, there's a chick in the freaking place. Yeah, that's Majima's girlfriend. Majima has a girlfriend? She says she's his girlfriend. But she says husband. Hey, hey dude, can you, can you get that weird girl out of the, like, boy's bathroom? She's, she's like, really creeping. No, you don't. No, don't touch her. What? Don't, don't touch her. She has a knife. So? See her carrying a knife. She has knives. Multiple. <laughs> also, Majima likes her because she's crazy. <gasps> Majima likes her? Oh, God. I did make a joke going, yeah, you thought Majima was crazy. Meet his girlfriend. Hi. <laughs> Zephron, everybody likes a furry wolf boy from, from time to time. They're great for cuddles. You know what else is great for cuddles? Blankets. You don't know true suffering until I beat you to death with a baseball bat. Now come here so I can give you a new necklace made out of this bike tire. Yes. I have merch now. <laughs> <coughs> All oh. the merch. I do like it. Majima, come out so I can suck your D. Yeah. No! Oh, zombie Majima! Come here, honey! Come here, honey! Hi, zombie Majima! Teach me the art of sumo slapping. If we can't talk like regular people. Later! Wait, what? Wait. Hold on, was that a good joke? I don't know. What was your joke? <laughs> you said sumo slapping and I slapped my hand and went, ah, later. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Oh, look at zombie Majima. Make out with him. Wait, don't make out with him. I'm not going anywhere near that. What? It's like making out with a vampire. It's perfectly fine, right? I... Ooh, his his health bar has. I know how bad that goes. His health bar has blue now. I should be worried, shouldn't I? <laughs> You're in danger. Oh no, darling. This is just foreplay. What? Don't cat. We we talked about this. Stop being so horny on main. I'm gonna have to move the stream to prawn stuff at some point. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a joke. No. Please, for the love of God, don't go there. I'd like to point out, I am not as bad as some people who are horny on main on their streams. I want to point that out. I'm actually kind of innocent. I know. Follow Chowzy, v Chowzy the VTuber. Her shit is woo! She makes me Paper look like a nun. House, need I say more? What? Paper box house, need I say more? I was about Alfred. to say... I was about to say, yeah, I, I'm a nun compared to some people. That man thirsting over Grunkle Stan. I mean, who wouldn't, what, you wouldn't thirst over him? You saw that scene where he was shirtless. I saw the scene where he had brass knuckles beating up zombies, and I questioned myself for a little bit. How did that go? Um, <laughs> I found, I found, a, I found a loophole. <laughs> Like, through most of that series, I was like, uh, he's kind of a jackass. Then that scene popped up, I was like, oh. Oh, vape is vape is me without my fan. Oh, look at me, I suddenly have the vapors. I really need to teach 
Tim how to speak like a Southern, because his his Southern accent just annoys me. I'm like, okay, which form of Southern are you going for? He goes, what do you mean? Oh, we have so much to teach you. Dancing Majima. Oh, I, I, I love you. You love me. Oh, we got to fight Majima while he was in a disco outfit. I forgot to send you those those screens. Oh, no. It's not as sexy as you... I mean, it's sexy, but it's not as sexy as you think you think I think it's sexy. It's not as sexy. But hot damn. I mean, he's... Do you remember? Okay, you were around during my Yakuza Zero plays. Do you remember the uh, when he would sing 24 Hour Cinderella and there was that scene where he would be rolling around on roller skates? It's that yeah. outfit. Ooh. Yeah, it's bright and disco-y. Oh, I must have gotten that a while ago. What? I got K Yakuza Kiwami. When did you get Yakuza Kiwami? And why are you remember. cheating on me? I don't remember. <laughs> How dare you cheat on me? That must have been a humble bundle. It has to have been. It sounds like it. No, you know how I, there was a sale and I basically bought all the Yakuza games, right? No one judges me? Good. This is potential content for you guys. But what about like a dragon cat? Where's that one? Fuck off! <laughs> I, did, I had to push the button. Why do we still have that button? I love how people are like, why are you so anti you like a dragon? Okay, okay voice acting aside, because I know you can turn it off. But, they made my man smooth. They made him smooth. And you don't think that would annoy me as much as it does. But they made his abs smooth. The arts... I feel that dimples on on the maps he has no facial wrinkles the man is like 70 no wrinkles like even majima now has some wrinklage and you know stress and i like that i know in like a dragon majima can work for me and i can use him as a way to fight people and he has a really good ultimate move that looks badass and works for majima where he basically runs down a building with a freaking hail of knives behind him think Think uh, cloud of cloud of blades or cloud of daggers. You know that one spell. But it's following behind him, and he's running down a freaking thing, and it looks badass and awesome. But the problem is, everything else isn't worth it. It also doesn't focus on Kiryu or Majima, so therefore I'm sitting here going like, I don't care. And also I don't. And it's turn-based fighting style, and I got nothing against turn-based. I love turn-based. I used. I love f playing turn-based fighting games. I used to do it a lot. But I just... No! It's not my husband. And I know Kiryu's story is technically done by six, but still, I'm just like... Ugh. Also, they said Kiryu has a dump truck butt. I know. I sent that clip. I hate you for sending me that clip. How dare you? He's so dumpy. I'm sorry. What makes you think that this may... I want to point out, I, Yakuza 5 has workout scenes, and I'm sitting here going, Mmm... Even I'm slowly dry riding the Kiryu train. I'm like, hmm. I mean, I was always riding the Kiryu train. I thought Kiryu was handsome. But Majin was. I'm the conductor. Can you at least bring packing pe bring peanuts? Yeah. Nut. Yeah. I'm not gonna make the nut sound a redeem. Nut. I can just do it for free. We can all do it for free if we actually believed in ourselves. Okay, can you stop beating my Leave ass, please? Night. He's beat. Zombie Majima's hurting me. I don't like it. There is no command for nothing. Yet. Ever. <laughs> to point out, I am getting really good at this game suddenly, which is going to be awkward because I d decided between Kiwami and Kiwami 2 we're going to take a teeny tiny break from the Yakuza to play something else for variety's sake. Does that make sense? So I don't get bored with it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Want to know what game we're considering? A classic from my childhood. Ooh. 
a game that I love dearly for its aesthetic, its looks, its story, and I love the creator. Go on. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this will be an announcement because, you know, basically. Uh, so, uh, he's the, he, she's, and they's, uh, foolish mortals, if you will. That's why I call you foolish mortals, so I can have a shorter title. Uh, the Guys, next game. Binary palace. Yes. Freaks, geeks, and sheiks. Sheiks. But yes, what is the game, O oh glorious overlord? It will be. American McGee's Alice in Wonderland, the original. I finally got oh, it. Oh, yeah. I finally got a working copy. <laughs> so that will be the game after Kiwami. So you get to enjoy some classic Quake-like fighting with me. Woo! So no, no, uh, keyboard, no controller for that. It's full keyboard and mouse, baby. So that's your future, oh, guys. Yeah. Oh, Zephron, it is a fucking madhouse i love it a uh, quake basically because it uses the quake engine we have a message yeah. from nishida imagine imagine if you will if tim burton got a hold of alice in wonderland and just went no oh, we're adding more saw blades to this pulls you over tim burton did get a hold of Amer uh, of alice in wonderland and american mcgee pointed out how similar the story okay, yeah, was two people are telling me all right <laughs> Two people just fucking told me. I get it. Tim Burton already did Alice in Wonderland. And I want to point I out. Mean, I want to point out something. American McGee pointed out how many storylines, how many plot points from his game are in that movie, and he's like, "I can't technically sue, but it's so tempting." Like a few, not enough plot points for per full-on plagiarism, but you know. Right. Ah, American McGee's Alice Returns is actually the sequel to American McGee's Alice in Wonderland, which will happen sometime between four and three and four, I think. I spaced these out in a way, but I gotta respace them. Uh, please be careful. Your boss, your boss in the site. Be careful, and you're in the boss's sights. He's planning to force his way onto your fights around the city. He's been doing that for a while now. His focus has been sharpening his dagger the entire day. Nishida, sweetie, darling. When you say sharpening his dagger, which oh, can't. Sweetheart, that's foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about the Tim Burton's Alice movie that I actually kind of was looking forward to because I was excited about the idea of some Tim Burton esque Alice in Wonderland and saw that. <sighs> yeah. And I go, can we go back in time and ask him to do the movie when he was in the 90s when he did the cool looking and stuff, you know, after Beetlejuice? Yeah, please? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I was meaning. That's oh. exactly what I was meaning. We're talking good Tim Burton. Uh, and also yeah. Tim Burton's a massive racist. God damn it. And by massive, one? when I say massive, I mean, he said the phrase, and I quote, because someone asked him, why isn't there that many people of color in his movies? He goes, because people of color don't work with my movie's aesthetics. Ugh. I sit here going, okay, I don't know how to tell you this, but I know, like, at least five black... Five, at least... Five... A lot of people of color who are goths. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Buddy. Yeah. Pal. Friend. Amigo. Fuck you. Like, there's a, there's a better way to say that. Some of your movies were in Renaissance Europe. And there's even... A better way of saying that. Well, the weird thing is there were people of color in Renaissance Europe. In Victorian Europe. But still, is Yeah. Yeah, you could add, like, one or two in the background. And some more, preferably. Yeah. <gasps> Idris Elba is the Mad Hatter. Would have been better than freaking... Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp did all right. He, he brought, I, he, he brought the, Jack Sparrow to it. No, he didn't really bring Jack Sparrow. He brought more like, yeah, it was like Jack Sparrow as well as his Willy Wonka thing. And I was like, I don't like his rendition of Willy Wonka. I hate Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka. Oh, I hate it. Oh, Willy it. Wonka was so bad. It yeah. was so bad. It's like, it just reminded me of like Michael Jackson refused, P slash Peter Pan refused to never grow up. And I'm like, I like the more, because the book has a more sinister aspect. I was expecting something more sinister than the 1970s one. Who knew the 1970s one was going to be more accurate. 
yeah, the 19th like, that Willy Wonka was far more, like, si like, like, asinine towards, towards people. He was far more, like, meh, people die. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> so apparently, like, oh, no, someone stop him, please. Help, police. He's far more cynical. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, someone help. And then I said, you're going, I think Gene Wilder, I think Gene Wilder's Willy Wonka might have been an effect on my personality. I don't think Gene Wilder was acting. Just seeing kids getting sucked up into chocolate tubes, like, oh no, let's keep on with the show. Let's go, oh. let's go. The oh, weird thing is, that's, oh. so, that's so capitalist America. Think about it. It's like, oh no, bad things happen. Everyone, focus on something else. <laughs> oh no, bad things happen. <laughs> hey, Charlie, I'm probably going to get hit with OSHA violations out of my ass. You take the ba factory now. Bye! Come with me, and you'll be in a world of OSHA violations. And his place is set in America, so OSHA viol- At least the 1970s one is, so OSHA it does exist. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Kiru-san, Japanese Dagger, I think he's going to be a little too- He's gone a little too far, so I've contacted you. So he's some- He will be possibly joining us in fights. Nice! I get to fight people. Now we get to beat oh. up people. Oh, Buckshot, that's implying that Oompa Loompas are human. They are. Did you hear about the uh, prequel they're working on? Which none of us asked for! Oh, God, no. No. God fucking no. I'm like, oh, they're gonna talk about how basically he did racism? He did freaking slavery? Oh, that's gonna be interesting. How are you gonna fill that out for the kitties, kids? Also, I keep getting sent Kiryu and Majima Rubber Ducky images, and I'm sitting here going, is this a thing in the game, or is this a weird fandom thing I don't understand? They're a trip. Look up Yakuza Rubber Duck and see if it's canon. Like the first thing that pops up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What? Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? <laughs> what pops up? <laughs> I need you to pause. I need you to look at chat. I need you to look at what's on Amazon right now. <laughs> oh, I don't have my VPN turned on. Oh, that's gonna show up in my ads later. The Yakuza rubber ducky. Oh my god. Is it cute? Oh, it comes in a... Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Oh god, it comes in a bathtub. Excuse me a second, guys. I have to see the secret chat of secrets right now and see what the secret is. I want one! Ah! <laughs> I gotta put this on my throne wish list right now! Oh, fuck. It's not available. No! Oh, it's adorable, though! It's a rubber ducky! Fine. They have one of Gandalf, they have one of Doom Guy, they have one of Captain Plucar. I'm sorry, there's a Doom Guy rubber ducky? I need this. Hold on, audience. Hold on, audience. We'll be nice to you. I will alt tab, I will open my browser, and I will show you guys the joy that is. Why did my browser close itself? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Browser, please. Don't. Browser, why are you doing this? Browser, stop that. I can't. God. Oh. Okay. Oh. No, I don't need the Enderman teleporting sound, please. Ugh. Is it the tub store? God, yes. Yes. It has a bicycle! I know! It's a treasure. Now, who's gonna buy this for me? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, audience. It's not available. 
gonna have to pull off a heist in order to get that. Okay, everyone, we're gonna do some national treasure like shit. Heist. Can... Heist. Heist. Okay. <laughs> it's like new D and D campaign. You're on a. Ca you guys are on a campaign to search for a valuable object. What is it? Holds a picture of Kiri, you rubber ducky. Heist. This. <laughs> My browser's not working right now. Oh god, it's oh so cute god. though. I demand rubber duckies. It's so cute. It's holding a teeny tiny bicycle and it's destroying people. I he love it. so angry. I love him. <laughs> okay, that's under the Sega one. Ugh, I just want... So this explains the meme that people have of the freaking mod carry you rubber ducky. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, what is with this rubber ducky bullshit? And now I know. God. Oh, I'm glad I woke up today. You were gonna have to wake up anyway. You're my co-host, damn it. I know. No, no. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't co-host every Saturday, your kidneys hurt. They don't die or anything. They just hurt a little. It's gonna fight bubbles. It's gonna fight the bubbles in my bath. Ugh, I wish there was a bathtub big enough for me gonna take a bicycle to your head if you don't wash behind your goddamn ears. If you don't wa- No, Kiryu, but- Kiryu duck holds up the bike. You wash your ass. You wash your ass. Wash. Your. Mother. Fucking. Ass. This is a- They- They live on a crack of lies. <laughs> oh, it's adorable though. Yeah, uh, Firefox is acting weird right now, so. Anyway, so we've learned about- learned about that today. Did we all- did we enjoy the learning? I don't know, Cat. Did you enjoy it? No. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Majima's now going to fight you randomly when you fight people. Which I'm cool with. But I want to fight Majima on the streets. In the sheets. In my room. With some cleats. Cleats? Cleats. Why are we wearing cleats in the bed? It's a phrase I just oh, now no, yelled out yours. loud, and my stepdad is in the house, and he heard. <laughs> hey. Opens up the door. Everything all right in there? You hear him talk about cleats with sheets? Anyway. Okay. Ah, these kids today. Uh, Don't mind me. Fear my OP moves. Core, yes, we are playing this game. Zephron, Zephron, look, Ze no, no, Zephron, you're, <laughs> Zephron, you're too pure. No, don't, don't look, don't look. Don't look at the screen, don't look at the screen. <laughs> Buckshot currently reenacting that scene from The Office. God, no, no, please, God, no. Oh, be fine, I'm just fighting a girl. Why couldn't it just be regular beetles and bugs? It would have been so freaking cool. Because that's but what no. the real world game that this is based off of uses. Get them in on it. I would love to see that. Americanize that shit. Not this. Please, love of God, not this. Come on. What are you doing? They're just <laughs> fucking playing footsies. You know, Japanese wrestling is a lot more intense than this, and I wish they did do some traditional Japanese wrestling, and I guess we gotta go to the hobo fights for that. I have seen some sumo wrestling. Yeah, oh no, no, there is Bugshot. There is an actual fighting game. Uh, we have confirmation from at least two people that there is a bug fighting game that was similar to this, which uses the cards and everything. Yeah, there, 
It was so cool. Like, somebody popped in the chat and was like, hey, you know this is based on a real card game, right? And it has an arcade version of it, too. I was like, what? Yeah, and then oh, I shit. mentioned that. And then Morgan, who was part of a stream one time when you were sick, um, basically saw this and was like, why do I have some weird vibes? Like, oh, you fought a game with sexy women fighting? He goes, no, 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 like real bugs and cards and everything. I go, oh, yeah, that was a real thing. And Morgan's like, I played that game. So it wasn't a weird childhood fever dream. You know, originally I was wanting to go... Oh, look at the little... Look, look at the adorable little ladybugs. They're so cute. I... And one of those beetles just comes in and just eats her. Can you stop saying that beetles eat humans? Beetles are omni... Are beetles omnivorous? I don't know, but, um... You missed yes... When you left, I caught the baby. The baby? The orb. Ah, most beetles are are, herbivore, are herbivores. And, uh, and devour dead bodies. Do beetles eat meat? Scientists use these be these bugs in a surprisingly helpful way. Flesh-eating beetles, called derm dermestids, are nature's forensic scientists. These creepy crawlies will eat flesh off of carcasses in a process called skeletonization. Yep, popular to use for taxidermists. Anyway, what? Isn't there a sub alert? Yeah, there is a sub alert. Did you sub? Did my sub alerts not go off again? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I do have a sub alert. Uh, I was gonna say, Zephron, if you were sub, if you sub to me, my thingy isn't telling me. I have no clue. Everything's haunted. Let's just do a test. Uh. The alerts aren't going off, period. The fuck. Uh, hold on, hold on. Something's going on here. Something's fishy. I am looking. I am looking. Activity feed. What are you saying? Uh, uh, that hasn't happened yet. Well, look at your subscriber count. You want me to look th at things? Oh, excuse me. I don't have access to it. I don't have access to it right now. No, for some reason, just something's acting weird. My activity feed is not activating. Cause I... It's alright, Zephron. It's alright. It's alright. You are still good bean. You are very good bean. Yeah, because I'm trying to reload the sub things, and they're not working. Something's fishy in Denmark, and I don't like it. Quick, cue the A's. Hold on, I'm about to do something stupid. Uh... Let me pick that out. Aha! Hold on. We have found the problem. Maybe. Okay, alerts do work now. I fixed it. I just picked a last of... Nerd. Why did I have to pick the one that insults me and calls me a nerd? Also, apparently I accidentally made a... a the, our, our, our lovely little friend miss go missing. Ah! Go. go. Just drink a potion. Don't panic. You sip a potion in my water? You rogue. I didn't do it. Someone did. Don't worry. It's because I basically reloaded all my overlay stuff. Oh, at least that's good. That's good to know. Don't worry. Now, so give me back, please. Give me back. Give me back. Give me back. You'll come back in like 20,000 years. Now, come on, look at our sun. I don't want to be back in 20,000 years. I want to be back in... Look, our bird sun. Our borb sun. Yeah. 
big board. This is baby it's borb. borb. I know I saw big I see big borb in back. You want me to get the big borb? Big borb in back. Oh big little borb fall down. Fall down, go boom. <laughs> So people are like, I thought we agreed no more no more crane games. No, we never agreed on that. Well, at least I don't remember agreeing to this. Also, I don't remember agreeing either. Oh, also, thank you, Zephron. You're very sweet. So Zephron got a sub somehow. Or has a sub. Yes, thank you, Zephron. Aw, and you're aw, and they said you're sweet. Aw, thank you, Zephron. You, you're buttering me up. I hope it's a good butter. Yes, it's low in fat. And high in calories. And just for that, Zephron, I'll go ahead and give you a free Ada Ada. Tell you. <clears throat> Waiting for the Ara. Ada Ada, Zephron Chan. <laughs> Okay, thank you, by the way, Zephron, for the sub. I don't know why I didn't pick up your sub. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Uh, did you basically sub or resub? Because if you resub, I, I wonder if the alerts don't work. Or something. Who knows? Anyway, insert coin. We're catching our big orb, son. Get the, bo get the borb. Get the borb. I love how I was like, why do we keep getting the Borb? The Borb is our child. Did you believe I looked up where I could get these? Apparently there's someone on Etsy who was making them. Keyword was. No. Yeah. Did they get taken down? No, they just haven't made any more. Yeah, same. I just want one of these little orbs. Look at them! One day I'm just gonna have one of these and my mom's gonna be like, What is this? I go, this is or This is Borb, our child. This is your grandchild. I mean, she already, if we go by that, she has a lot of sloth grandchildren. Borb! Oh no! What happened? You'll see! What? Yay! He fell though! It hurts! It's okay, Borb. Zephron, don't turn it into a shrimp. You'll get all crabby. Yeah. I would love to see someone who basically, if they saw shrimping, they, like, you know, unexpl uh, 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 unprovoked shrimping, someone would be like, I'm allergic to shellfish. <laughs> We only get these orbs. The pink ones stay. Apparently in later games there's a blue variant. A blue borb? Blue borb. Ah, blue borb. I'm sorry, I had to go for the low hanging fruit. Yes, you did. And what did you get from it? Nothing. I got everything. I'm sitting here going, Sega, just make these a thing. Just make these a thing. Don't limit them. Just give me my orb children. Oh, speaking of limited, did you know they're coming out with a new a new Majima figurine? Limited really? to limited to most likely 99 people, and will cost five hundred dollars. Ugh. I know. And I already know that like, at least a good percentage of those 99 are going to be scalpers who are going to sell it for twice as much. I'm like, mm -hmm. but I want it. I want, I want to put Majin by my house. I have a poster, but it's not, it's not 3D. I can't pet it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I legitimately went, I will be okay if there was a Majima Funko Pop. You know I'm desperate. Are you actually looking up if there's a Majima Funko Pop? Don't at me. There isn't, that I know of. Because when I looked up Majima figurines, that did not pop up. Hey, 
I need my borbs to ponder. Nope, just a lot of Mandalorian and Marvel. Yeah. You know what's messed up? I wanted to buy um, the Fatgum Funko Pop because I like Fatgum. And the, sto and the GameStop that I went to, I asked them about it. They're like, oh, yeah, we just got sold out, like, instantly. I go, really? Yeah, they only gave us three. I go, what? Yeah, they only... like a clerical error. Th that, I, I even point out going, that sounds clerical. And he goes, yeah, they only gave us three. Because we're so... S because, again, this is a small town, so... So, like, I'm assuming because our town is much smaller and doesn't have as much app traffic they didn't think that that would that more would be needed majima husband majima husband is near wrong. majima husband is near i can hear him in the wind i can see him on the map majima husband husband have... see you later zephron have a good dinner good night hi husband The hunt has been done. We must fight him. Oh, he's in breaker mode. Oh, rough husband. Thank you. This man's gonna kick my ass. Someone's gonna be like, why do you focus on the Majima hunting? It brings me joy. Because I get to see Majima's smiling face. As he kicks my ass. Look at him, he's so happy. Do you want that boy to not be happy? Is that what you want? Do you want my husband not happy? That's how you do it. Let me, let me tell you, when he's not happy, no one's happy. Oh yeah, medicine, 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 medicine. Inventory. Give me drugs. I was going off to go buy drugs. Good thing I have drugs. It's a game, officer. It's a game. Oh yes, because an, uh, a cop is really gonna watch my streams. Actually, wait. Hi, Uncle Palmer. If you happen to watch Twitch, he doesn't. I highly doubt my Uncle Palmer- My Uncle Palmer knows that I do stream- Knows I do a lot of computer stuff. I highly doubt he knows about my stream stuff. Unless my mom's been talking about it. Mom, please don't. That sounded like begging. Because the last thing we need is Uncle Palmer, who has seen me as a small, tiny child, lusting over men. Again. Listen, I had that awkward moment, because you know, like, one of my main jobs as an, art as an artist is to draw, um... Big uh, hot dog advertisements. You, you draw a lot of hot dogs, stuff. sausages. Yeah, my mom yes. barged in my room with my uncle Palmer there, and I was working on something. I'm like, mom. It's like what? It's okay. Oh, I'm working on commissions, so it's okay. It's just hard. He knows you work on commit. Oh, those commissions. She's busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We'll be in here for a moment. Oh, never mind. Get the fuck out. Out, 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 out. What's she doing? Working on I'd like to know. No, you don't. No, you don't. And now, time for JoJo's. But... Ora. Did you see the Ora? I did see the Ora. That was painful as fuck. I don't want to be on the receiving end of any JoJo man maneuver. That sounded dirty. Yes, it was. It was meant to be dirty. Apparently the last uh, form, the last thing you can fight him as, is he's dressed around in a Hana mask. And I'm sitting here going, okay. A little bit random, a little bit odd. Well, it's a reference to, I think, Yakuza 3. Because remember, uh, Yakuza, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2 are remakes that were made post, um, post Yakuza 6, I think. Majima, can you stop hurting me? I'm your friend. 
But that's all I do to my friends. Hurt. It's a form of love language. Biting is a form of love language. Stick to that. Can we all agree that Majima would be one of those types that biting is my love language? Also, finding shiny rocks on ground. Or is that just me projecting? That might be you projecting. Wait, like you're getting people shiny rocks? I just find rock on ground and be like, look at this rock I found. It reminded me of you. Here's a rock. How did this rock remind you of me? I don't know. You look purple. I used to have a rock collection as a kid. Fun fact about me. Don't ask what happened to it. Well, now I gotta ask what happened to it. I don't know. Oh, that was far more anticlimactic. What did you, were you gonna make me say? Oh, my mom used it for a rock garden and, I, and she destroyed the rock garden? I don't know. Used it to rob a bank or something. You held him at rock point. <laughs> Yes, because that's how it works in America. Yeah, technically I don't have to fight Majima anymore. Technically, because I you can use him for XP farming. But, see, here's the thing. You've already maxed out on everything. Yeah, well, not everything. I don't have maxed out on Dragon Style, which is the big style that apparently I'm supposed to use in the fights later on, but I never use. I also have to do hobo fighting so I can gain the abilities from there, which to learn from Majima's former teacher, you know, become the god that I am. If that's what the, is what I, if they say that I'm a god, that's what I am. Damn it, I got Eldorado stuck in my brain now. It's tough, tough to, to be a god. god. But when you get the people's nod, count your blessings, keep them sweet. That's our advice, it's great advice. Be a symbol of perfection, be a, be a legend, be a cult. Can you tell Maybe I like the one? What? Maybe not that last one. Take a change, take a collection as the multitudes exult. Hi, do you know I get watched a lot of El Dorado? <laughs> it's a really freaking good movie. It's a great D&D &D movie if you think about it. <laughs> this is what happens when two bards go on an adventure. Two bard brogues. Majima, I want to kiss your belly button. That sounds weird and sexual. I take that back. Are you lusting after this man's belly button? No, I'm lusting after the thing that's behind the belly button. Or under the belly button. <laughs> behind the belly button? You mean, like, his stomach? Yes! I'm lusting for his belly. I wish to give it raspberries. Oh, look! More of those lusty porny cards. Oh, this one has a butt, and it's called the Leg Splitter. No. No! <laughs> Is that all you can say? To this, yes. G guys, I've just got my ass kicked by my boyfriend. Or are you saying something? Core? Yep. Okay, I thought I thought my audio died. Are you okay? Are you alive? Yeah, uh stream died. <sighs> Don't worry. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing has gone wrong. Technical issues, folks. All is 
Good. Excuse me as I run to a safe spot to hide in. Majima? You good? You all right? Everything good? Everything all right? Majima's in a trash can! It's me! Majima! I don't have that many health options. Why are you in a trash can? Because fun. Majima, I can only beat you up so much. Uh, I'm gonna have to go shopping for more drugs. Is everything back? Yeah, everything's back. Okay, good. Uh, Majima! We all good? We all good. Bad! Majima! Oh, bad things happening. But with Majima. That's it! The claws are out. Why are the claws out? Because you went, that's it. I have a sign for you. Back the hell. I'm using a traffic cone to protect me. I don't know how it's working. Cone? Do you see that? You'll see him. He's gonna do a flurry. He's gonna do a flurry of blows on me, and I'm using a traffic cone for protection. Oh yeah, I'm seeing it. It's hilarious. Oh look, a bicycle! Bicycle, bicycle! I want to ride my bicycle. I want to Remember ride my bike. Your cardio. It's easy to get into cardio. Run. I mean, I don't have a reason to run. Oh, there's a boulder. Where did you get that boulder, cat? Don't question where I get my shit. The boulder wants to speak to you about sports. No, the boulder wants to speak to you about your auto insurance. I'm here to talk to you about your car extended warranty, bitch. The boulder wishes to talk to you about Aflac. Aflac. Oh, Studio Avatar, get on that shit. All you have to do is basically pay uh, Macho... Uh, so the voice actor for the boulder is uh, Mick Foley, professional wrestler. They wanted to get The Rock, but The Rock was unavailable. But they got Mick Foley to do it, and he had a field day with it, as you can clearly tell from the show. Oh, yes. And he's a really good guy, and I think he does a lot of charity stuff. So I'm sitting here going, well, if he's offering voice lines for charity, we could all just pitch in and basically go like, Hey, can we make you say a few lines as the boulder? We're here to tell you about your car extended warranty. Just kicks down your door. The boulder would like to talk to you about homeowner's insurance. Yes, I'm beating the crap out of him with an electrical panel. Don't think about it. He's out. So the electricity's out for the whole block. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay, guys. Who the fuck turned off our power? Majima. Is fighting in the street? Yeah, pretty much. What happened? That dude just ripped out an entire conduit. How? Are we gonna call the police on them? Fuck no. Look at them. Do you want to get between that? It's like looking at two Super Saiyans fighting. Wait, who's Vegeta and who's who's Goku? Well, seeing as Kiri is shorter... <laughs> By one inch! One inch! Hey. Hey, in reality, one inch is all that separates you from from being referred as the Dwarven Clans, all right? Oi! One, you don't even know what my human form's height is. And two, technically, that would be my mother. 
mama, the mama void, if you will. The mama void. Ma the mama don't, shadow beast. Don't fuck with mama void. Don't fuck with mama void. She, she is a, she is tiny and angry. Also, I've discovered recently the fleshy form is too short to be considered a short stack. What? I am one inch too tall to be considered a short stack. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying you were too short. It's like there's a there's a height minimum. No, there's a height maximum, and I'm a couple inches too. Sh I'm an inch too short, and it sucks. <laughs> like, fuck! I'm a tall short stack. I'm a, I am the tall one amongst the short stacks. But I'm like I technically right? I'm big boobed. I'm a gremlin, and I should count. But no, I'm too <laughs> tall. What? You're an honorary short stack. <laughs> Are you enjoying the short stack jokes? Yes, I am. Because I'm not, not the one who brought it up. No. I am innocent in compared to all this. I, I'm just over here minding my own business. Oh yes, you're, an you're just minding your own business in the Egyptian cotton sheet. Yes, exactly. Sitting here, wondering myself, what free tell shall I throw at my players next? Would you like to borrow my stats for my killer rabbit? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think a cobalt assassin guild would use a rabbit. I don't know, it's the kobolds. The lower end of normal stack. Ha ha ha. End of normal stack. I love it when we're like, I'm struggling to get all these points when I'm going through the plot. I'm like, don't go through the damn plot. Do the side shit. Fight Majima. Don't run away from him. Embrace him like friend or lover, if you will. Also, Buckshot heard kobolds? Yeah, it's kobolds. Good. The best boys. Oh, Majima. Look at the back of his head. I claim it. Add yeah. Why does it taste like sweat? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was fighting someone Super Saiyan-like. Yeah. Woo! We're getting up there in the Majima everywhere. Soon we will be at Majima Triple S. What do we get at Majima Triple S? Really cool shit. No, I don't want Pronto. I want uh, Yakutunorella. Because we're going to eat a bunch of sushi platters again, because we love ourselves. No, we don't. <laughs> just, just gets in. I had a fight with Majima again. Oh, how did it end? It took out the entire block of electricity. Oh, that explains why we're selling our sushi for 25 cents a piece. I won't know. Would you go to a place that's selling 25 cents a piece sushi? No. God, no. Dollar sushi? No. But it's like a la carte style. So it's like nickel shots at O'Halligan's, but sushi. Punk Moogle, hey, how's it going? Hello, Punk Moogle. I love Moogles. Moogles are adorable. Moogles, they control the economy. In, 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 in Kingdom Hearts, which yeah. I need to somehow obtain copies of. Did we get a new follower? Who did we get? Punk Moogle has followed me. Thank you, Punk Moogle, for being a follower. You're welcome to becoming one of my many foolish mortals. Don't worry. Sit back. Relax. We'll get you a really nice crypt soon. And you get... Majima Husband! We just fought! Uh... Oh, by the way, enjoy Majima... for round two. Enjoy Majima's outfit, by the way. This is what Majima likes to wear. Look at them shoulder pads. Look at them shoulder pads. Oh, he looks beautiful. Fabulous. <gasps> Punk Moogle is on the side of me. Thank you. Punk Moogle thinks Kiryu and Majima are hot. Thank you. They are very hot. They are very handsome. But now I gotta fight him. I have very few health potions. And and you see that you don't you skip the awkwardness if you go ahead and. Go ahead and just skip the skip the 
skip the one for the other. You get one all to yourself. Yes. Kitty-chan! No. And, uh, the, uh, the new taunt. Majima husband! <laughs> Majima husband. How you doing, darling? Majima loves Kiryu. Yes, he does. And I love Majima, and he's my husband. Anyway, and so is Kiryu. Me and Kor share Kiryu. I think. Share Kor being a very loose term. Share. Greedy. You get one day. Oh, I get one day of Kiryu. Yes, you get the other days with Majima. <laughs> oh, good. You get to have the one day with Majima. Has he, saw, has he taught you how to go fishing yet? I know what the one day with Majima. What? The one day's breather. No, the one day with Majima's fun. Because Kiryu likes to take me pocket car racing. Where does take you? Where does Majima take you on your, on your one day with Majima? She starts looking, looking like they went through World War II flashbacks. Oh come on! Did Majima take you to that idol store? Did Majima take you to the Hello Kitty store? Yes. Was it nice? Beat someone over the head with Hello Kitty. Are you okay? I need a moment. I mean, did also, the guy? I was gonna say the oh. guy. Yes, you go first. As long as the guy who got hit with Hello Kitty deserved it, we fine. I'd like to point out when I start playing Mass Effect in the future, it's gonna be this. This is gonna be a similar scenario, guys. Okay. Except instead of replace Majima with Thana with Thane as as well as uh as Garrus, especially Garrus. Oh god, Garrus. Oh, Garrus. Garrus, you break me in ways that are so enjoyable. You know, everybody likes Garrus, everybody likes Polly. And they both agree, yeah. They yeah. both are pretty good. They Ali and Garrus both agree. Yes, we are very good picks. We pick ourselves, even. Yeah, there was an article floating around going, this time with the new Mass Effect out, why don't you just not romance Garrus and Tally and let them get together? I go, or you could not dictate how I play my game, and if you want them to get together in your own playthrough, do it. You know grabs what I... The, grabs the cute Corian. Mine. Grabs the handsome Turian. Mine. I mean, if Garrus wants to come over and, you know, have some words... If Garrus wants we, to... We, if if Tali wants to come over, we can have a full thruple day. Three-way date. We'll watch movies together. Ora! Also, yes, Buckshot. Cobalts do tend to just devolve into angry Chihuahua noises because... short -itis. Oh yeah, the Yakuza series is fun. I have all the Yakuza games except for like a dragon, the dra the zombie game, which I really want, and the uh, and the uh, one set in Japan because those weren't available in America and I have no translation. And I don't really care for judgment. No offense, I'm not interested in judgment unless it has my Majima husband in it. And like a dragon can freaking bite me because what they did to my man. I've been on the. I feel like I've said this multiple times now. Yeah. It's almost like people like don't believe me when I say I'm not a big fan of like a dragon's art style or something. When they smooth over them abs. They smoothed his fly. face and his abs. I looked at someone showed a someone was tweeting out a picture and I go, "What did they do to my man? Why does he look so smooth?" Who who photoshopped smooth my man? <laughs> They go, oh yeah, they got a different art style. They decided to be less detailed with the skin detailing and all that jazz. I go, okay, I get that, but it looks wrong on Majima. He looks too smooth. He looks like a Fortnite character. Oh god. No. Please may that never happen. Sega, you have decency. Don't do it. That Mark Hamill voiced Majima? Yeah, in uh, PlayStation 2, but it look, sounds too Joker for me, to be perfectly honest. And I got nothing against Mark Hamill. His work is great. But I just... It sounded too Jokery. And I'm like, Majima's not really a Joker. You know? Majima does good shit for good people. He doesn't just cause chaos just to cause chaos, like the Joker does. If anything, Majima's Harley Quinn. 
You can take my Majima cosplaying out of cosplaying as Harley Quinn idea out of my cold, dead, dying, cold hands. You heard it here, folks. She has a trademark. No, you can take the idea of me drawing it out of my cold, dead hands. You can't trademark an idea. I mean, you can, but you know what I mean. Try. I mean, that's what, uh, what uh, the brothers tried to do with the reactions. We don't talk about the react, the fine bros. Not fine anymore. Mm -mm. Well, someone actually started insulting Twitch streamers who do react content on their channels. I sit here going, well, it depends on the people who do it. Because I do, we've done Dancing Bake. We watch Dancing Bacon's videos at the Asian markets, swooning over the food. And, like, we actually do react and shit. We actually are like, oh, my God, reacting. We're not sitting there stone cold face like some reacting streamers do. You know? We MST3K this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh god, how much did we MST3K some of the shit we watched? Like, we MST3K while watching Hotel Hell on, on my in my server. Which, by the way, advertise my server. Oh, advertise your server? Alright, uh... I'm assuming this is the... Yep, there we go. We have a Discord. Go to the Discord. We do fun stuff there. Like, watch movies and share memes. And talk about and, shit. And talk about shit. And also forbidden toe beans. <laughs> Keep my forbidden toe beans out of this. I am never gonna let your forbidden toe beans go. That was the most hilarious fucking thing ever. Just Discord going, no, you can't show these. They're explicit. They're, they're explicit. This is explicit content. Oh, Majin was like, time for my date with Cinderella. Me standing in the distance. Sam, sitting in the distance. So this is love. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll break out all the freaking... Ten minutes ago I met you and we muttered our how do you do's. I'm, can you tell I was a musical fan? <laughs> I like musicals. No, you <laughs> musicals? <laughs> I'm guessing you just slept through Encanto. Slept during. I love it. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. The problem is now I go, we don't talk about place thing here and go, no, no, no. At the end, I'm like, Encanto's affected me. Also, I do love uh, Under the Surface. Da, 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 Under the Surface. I'm a man. What is the other one I really love? I like all the songs in Encanto, let's be perfectly honest. Oh, uh, yeah. J just that one that is memed all over the place. Seven foot frame Faith and rats, rats along, along his back. back. When, when he calls, calls your, your name, name the world fades to black. When he sees your dreams. <laughs> Can you tell Peace I sing? on your, your screams. <gasps> we don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. I sing, I sing the song a lot, okay? I have the Encanto soundtrack now. Don't judge me, universe. Camillo needed his own song. Oh well, some people are sitting here going, if if uh, if Encanto gets the it gets the uh, musical treatment on Broadway, please, please, Encanto would be perfect please, for it please, because please, please, please. because a lot of the dancing can be done by people, and I'm just like, imagine the puppetry they could do for the do for the house. Imagine it. Imagine. But like, I would love that, and everyone's like, we want Carlo, to, we want Camilla to have a song, we want all of them to have songs. We're like, we want to know more. I want to know Felix's story. Felix, what's your story? I fell in love with a woman. Thank you, Felix. My name is Jorge. I make the spackle. <laughs> I love Jorge. I have threatened to make that a D and D character. <laughs> Just a freaking. My name is Jorge. I do the spackle. That's it. Yes. Just an artificer walking around with, with a bucket with a head. Spade. I am Jorge. I do the smackle. Do you do anything else? No, just the smackle. Joke's on you. When he builds that 18 foot wall to, <laughs> Protect to keep his... the giants out, you'll all see. You'll all see. No, oh, I. We can't break down this wall. Why? The smackle's too good. It's like it's made by a master. Named Jorge. 
Jorge is here. We can't break this wall down, no. No, no, Jorge does the best spell. No giant can break the walls <laughs> of Jorge down. <laughs> No, I made a joke going D and D characters that have super in the beginning super complex stories. In the end, I am Jorge. I do the spackle, <laughs> and then I make spackling. I do the spackle, and then you have my D. And then you have the one guy in my D and D group going, "I did complicated characters. I did complicated characters after the spackle incident." Oh God, not you again. Uh, meet Cano. Our a cl a alleged son, and by alleged son, I mean he's not our son. He basically wants to be our apprentice, and he's trying to help us make money, and he's failing. Debt collecting. Oh God. See that lady in red behind me? Core, do you see the lady in red? Point to the lady in red, Core. Point. Points. Hmm. Is it that lovely couple walking down the street? Uh, I should have gotten some food. Yes. I'm getting food. Kaur, can you bring me a sandwich? Sure, I'll load a PB and J in the trebuchet. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> Bob, why is there a mutant? Why is there a, a PB and J splatter on our car on our uh, on our house? Um. The trebuchet works. Good news. <laughs> Be like, Core, good news. The trebuchet works. Bad news. You hit my house. <laughs> ah, good, good, good. Time to go siege Dunford. <laughs> Don't siege Dunford. She wasn't always a woman, I hear. So? Who cares? I'm not paying attention to the plot. Are you? Can you tell? Um, She wasn't a woman. Good for her? Are you saying? Oi. Yep. Apparently, she realized she could run faster in a skirt, and the longer she wore one, the more she realized she was born to wear a skirt. I don't know how to feel about this, Core. Core, can you help me hear you gender fluid being of you? Core? Yeah, uh. She went back in the... Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean. Tasteful? It, it gives you better. It gives you better, uh, leg room. Yes. Also, it... Then, th they call her Godspeed Yoko. Oh, no? I really didn't need all that information. I feel this! I feel this! When I'm just like, I just need certain information, DM. And you give me all the wrong information, DM. That's not what I wanted to know. I did not need to know that. I just wanted to know if I can punch this bitch. <sighs> Do you need me to punch her? I mean, no, but I, then why are you talking to me? <laughs> you want us to sneak up and jump on a woman at the same time. Yeah, I agree with Kiryu here. This sounds like a D&D &D campaign. Like, the newer players, like, hey, we should jump this guy. Older, more experienced players going, this is going to go so poorly, but okay. Again, this is D&D &D, right there. Oh, <laughs> Kiryu! Kiryu? Carry you, honey. What was that? Good stealthing, carry you. We're so proud of you. Oh, uh, what is that? What what is that animation? Did they just take the running animation for the women and just speed it up? It's hilarious. Ah, uh, quality. Make me have to go after a random strange woman in a red ass dress just because you didn't want to fight her because you respect women. This woman is a monk. This woman is a monk. I don't understand why she, why he's so scared of her. Like we could just do this right here to, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. If you knock me to my knees in one minute, I'll pay it all back. Yoko, please, enjoy this delicious cheesecake. <laughs> Lady, no. Lady, yes! <laughs> then. Mm. Ah, I uh, see they used wait. a male voice for the woman. 
That's great. That's not inappropriate. Oh, I don't care. So, wait, hold on a moment. She's trans? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, why they use a man voice on the... Okay, whatever. Japan, Sega. So I basically have to fight this woman, but I have to treat her like a delicate flower. So this is why... So this is why Kiryu is okay with fighting her. Kiryu, we, we gotta talk about your... Like, How is she so well. fucking fast? Aha, I got her. She's using instant transmission. She's a monk. She's a fucking monk. Up. Oh. But see, here's the problem, madam. You've put your all your points into monk. I did monk fighter. <laughs> what the? What is this running speed? This running speed's hilarious. <laughs> Not bad for a man. Do you see how hilarious that animation is? They basically took the woman's speed and went like multiple times it. Did you went spoon legs? <laughs> Give her credit; she's running in heels. Hey, you know what? That's a fucking super superstar move. Do you remember that episode of freaking uh, Samurai Jack where Samurai Jack wore heels to fight? And I was like, yes, queen. Why didn't you stick with them? You have built-in stabby implements. Yeah, you can put blades on the bottom of those. You can stab a robot. You could high kick. And later on, like, kill a bunch of people because now you don't have robots to kill. You have actual people you have to kill. Mm. That shit went straight to Adult Swim! Yeah, it sure did. Although I didn't like what they did with it. You know the thing I don't- I'm uncomfortable with. The daughter- first off, it's the daughter of Aku, whose name I can't remember, who basically- I was expecting like some cool Jedi, Padawan, master, student training. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah father-daughter relationship, them. not that. Not. Yeah, I didn't watch the ending because of that. Oh, you'll really hate the ending. Basically, it's Deus Ex Machina, where it's basically... Jack goes, wait, you're the daughter of a coup. That means you have her powers. And she just screams a teleport... She screams a time portal to the past. And I sit here going, you know what you could have done with that? Could have had a training montage and let her train and learn. No, it's just instantly she mastered it. She's instantly mastered the ability to do the time screechy thing that a coup can do. To be fair, they probably were really constrained on money. I know, but it kind of annoys me how they did it. Oh, and then she goes back in time with Jack, right? Jack defeats- Oh, that's not going to cause any loopholes. <laughs> Wait for it. Jack defeats Aku, so Aku is now dead. So she's with Jack now. They get married. And then sometime, I don't remember if it's during the wedding or post the wedding, she realizes, wait, I can't exist, and then fades away and dies. <laughs> so I'm sitting here going so, so yeah so I'm sitting here going so if she didn't realize it would she have just stayed there forever she they're like in the middle of, of oh, doinking and she's like uh, uh, wait a minute existential crisis oh. <laughs> and like it's really sad for him and then like a weird ladybug lands on him and it's supposed to represent lost lovers or some bullshit if you want to get into the Symbolism. It is literally when they were about to say I do. I yeah. do not exist. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, she just basically realized this way, going, wait, I can't exist in this timeline because Aku is dead. I'm like, I get it for like logic reasons that make sense, but you could have also had the split timeline scenario. You know, you know like, you know, freaking Legend of Zelda has. At least Simone. And Gurren Lagann had his fucking wedding before his wife died. Yay. At least that happened. If <laughs> she kept her damn mouth shut. If she didn't think about it, she would have been fine. Because, like, because I did also legit go, wait, she went back in time. Something's going to happen to her. I thought, okay, she's, because it's not like, it's not like instant. 
fade away. It's like, she's there for a while. So I sit here going, oh, it's a split timeline scenario like Legend of Zelda, right? Nope. 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 It's not that. It's so not- she had never known that she was Aku's daughter. Oh, that's a double-edged sword right there. No, if oh, she did- No, it's like, okay, I'm Aku's daughter, Aku is dead, Aku- I should not exist. If she never considered- if she never put two and two together, and just stuck to two plus two equals chicken- She could have had a lot of chicken. Yeah, she could have lived. She could be on a lovely little farm with Jack right now, raising babies. Now she's on a different farm in an inter interdimensional Colorado. Why does it have to be Colorado? I don't know. Keep Colorado out of this. They have weed legality. What's wrong with that? She <laughs> she could have a whole bunch of weed on that farm in Colorado. Yeah, it's That's so- I better move into Colorado. Can take me with you? Get your bags, you're moving to Colorado. Although there isn't a Publix in Colorado and I need the Publix. I can't function Publix. without Publix. Publix? The Peoples? Do you not have Publix in your neck of the woods? The fuck is Publix? It is a store chain which only lives in certain parts of the south apparently. Evidently in fucking Florida alone. No, Florida, Georgia, I think there's one in the- Majima? Majima, I know you're in that car. Majima, quit making the car rockin'. I will come up. Cat.exe has stopped working. Cat.exe has stopped working. Oh. Cat.exe has stopped working. Cat.exe has stopped working. Actually, you know what? I'm punishing you guys. You're gonna watch this? <laughs> yes, Buckshot, thank you. Thank you, Buckshot. I, I had to disappear for a moment again. I'm out of here. Bye. Back to you. I just out of existence. Actually, ow. Uh, be right back, guys. I have to use the restroom. So, um, enjoy this pelvic thrusting. Core, talk about cabbages. use the restroom. I legitimately do, so. Uh, keep yourself entertained for a minute. Be right back! Like, I can come up with... Like, I can... I can... I can compare to this? I... Oh, no. I'm just invisible, Buckshot. I caught you. I caught you red-handed. You're about to lead a revolution. No revolutions in my town. Not here. This is... This is in France. We don't revolutionize every three seconds. I wonder if... I wonder if Zephyron's back. <laughs> oh. You know, you gotta give... Give him credit. His form is impeccable. You wouldn't you can only wonder how he does it for so long. And if he has broken furniture by doing so. Oh god. I might need a stiff drink with that with that food I've ordered. Cause boy, howdy. So how's everybody doing to doing tonight? How's everybody going? After I just stopped a a freaking coup event. Everybody doing all right? Everybody doing this fine middle of January? It is. It is near. We're just breaking through the middle of January. This this entire month feels like it's gone on too long. Plotting my next move, I right. going a bit orky there, aren't you, Buckshot? <sighs> ah. <laughs> she can't begin. Great. 
The great excuse me. The great Hold on. Has, has arrived. Yep. What, what's uh -huh. what's going on? Plotting our revolution? What? Excuse me. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Are you enjoying the pelvic thrusting that is the Majima? <laughs> Does this make you uncomfortable? <laughs> all in all, I've just been looking away. <laughs> Why? It's not that just horrifying. Just a grown man pelvic thrusting in my general vicinity. Oh, oh you no. don't have that happen often? Ah, oh, man, we're back. What? I guess I was the one out. Yeah. Core would also, never... I was, I was not plotting to overthrow anything. I, I'm second in command. That gives the most power. Well, you're one of many seconds in command. I am the radar of this team. Yeah, you are. Anyway. Oh, it looks like, uh, was, oh, I see Numbskulls playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> All right, let's just right. fight Mod. We're going to fight Majima, and I have decided, executive toilet decision, we're going to do plot. Please don't say those two phrases in the same sentence. Executive toilet decision? It's basically a decision I decided and, on the toilet. And plot. Majima, how could you hurt me? Majima, stop hurting me. I just want to teach you the true meaning of Christmas. Hey. Remember, this game is set during Christmas time. Stop, stop beating my head in. Ugh. This is what I get for being a Majima fangirl, huh? Attack, yes, a little bit. This is what I get for loving Majima so much. I fight and become stronger. Live oh. through the pain. No, oh. An experience awaits. I don't know. I, I'm bored shit out of my ass. You have an ass to sh pull things out of? I thought you ran out of ass after the last time you pulled something out of it. Hey, now. Hey. It, it's like a sponge. It regenerates after a while. Hey, now. Hey, now. No, hey, 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 hey. Today's 80s music day. Don't let them win. I'm not allowed to play 80s music anymore. Can you tell? Yeah, how are you playing Navy's music for? What? Oh, I'm not playing 80s music. I'm just singing it. No, like you said, you got it. You went on a binge for a little bit. Oh yeah, I was doing a bunch of artwork. So instead of watching TV, to you know, instead of having background noise of television because I would get distracted, I started playing music. And my music player just kept playing 80s music. It knew how, how to treat you. Fun fact! I was listening to Kesha, but then I took a break because I was working on Majima artwork. Fun, f weird fact about Cat: I do play Kesha music when I do artwork of Majima being crazy sexy. Don't judge. Let's just say the song Take It Off has been used a lot as background noise for certain artworks I have done of Majima. <laughs> it's a good song! Don't insult it! Yeah, but just like, just the name of the song and what you're, uh, what you're currently drawing. Ah, yes, the stripper pole, stripper pole Majima and stripper pole Goromi. Which then people go, what's with your obsession of drawing people in stripper poles? Because this is, I think, because uh, let's see, I've done stripper pole Majima, I've done stripper pole Goromi, I've done stripper pole Tensei Ida. I do a lot of stripper pole poses and people go, why? I go, it's a great way to practice dynamic poses to show off movement. And also to do sexy shit and not get in trouble with DMs, get in trouble with people because it's because I can clearly say they're pole dancing, not stripping. Hello, also, Jim. Huh? Hey, Jim. Hello, Jim. Majima, not from behind. Not with people watching. I'm not into that when people watch. <clears throat> Cat is going to prison. Do you have water? Nope. Alright, you be thirsty. Yeah, I do. We need water. 
Someone's gonna cash in the drink. Drinka. All right, Apaka. Drink. You foolish mortals drink as well. Which reminds me, I gotta put in the foolish mortals in the foolish mortals drink as well message. I gotta put in some alpacas. I gotta put in some lovely little Sebastians in there, cause you know Sebastian needs to serve the drinks. That's what his job is. Get a nice alpaca for me. I mentioned Sebastian the shadow alpaca. Num instantly knew who I was talking about. Uh, someone else I mentioned it to, they're like, who's Sebastian? I go, you know when I get a drink up notification? The little alpaca who serves me my drinks is named Sebastian. He's our shot. He's my void alpaca. He's one of my many minions. One of my many familiars. Oh, I did it! Yay, I heard him! Oh, I heard him. He tells you to drink. Hydration is important, people. I pray to have to imagine my husband. Hey, you're pretty tough too, right? Can't feel my face. Or my butt. Oh my. You know, being on the receiving end of an attack ain't so bad. Yes, of course. <clears throat> of course. Of course. So, Majima, um, I never pegged you for that type of guy. Could never have. Way. <laughs> hey, I can get away with it. <laughs> we could find Majima she said, and... she said the thing. What? I said she said the thing. What, Peg? <laughs> <laughs> Peg. <laughs> Peg. <laughs> Peggy Hill. Ew, no. Yeah. Well, that killed my boner. I legitimately do not understand how you can handle a boner. How can you think? It's just there, flopping in the wind. <laughs> flopping in the wind. Cat, cat, we can't talk about this right now. We're not adults. I mean, we are adults, but we're not adults. It's anatomy, cat, not a windsock. Why can't it be both? Anatomy windsock. <laughs> Oh my god, now, now all I can think about is that episode of, like, psychiatry with superheroes. How did that go? Superman is a nudist. Yay! And he just walks around. Because who's gonna stop him? Who's, who's gonna stop him? The 30,000 fangirl? I'm sorry, you do not underestimate the power of shrimp. Oh, now Zephron's uh, subscription no message went up. Wow. Before actually amused. That was delayed. Is he even still here? No, he's off having dinner, I think. Yeah, he's got... Wow, stream. Wow. <whistles> Twitch. It's not it's Twitch's fault. Technically, it's Stream Elements' it's fault. Anyway, are we ready for what we call... Hold on. Let me just do something here. Yeah, no. I are we ready for sure plot? <laughs> okay, to give you context. There's oh, there's Zephron. Ah, okay. Hello, Zephron. Welcome back. Your subscription has finally gone through. Your subscription has been acknowledged. Okay, so here's the thing, y'all. Yes. We are going to do plot now, and I'm going to give you a little summary of plot. So, our... Child was kidnapped again, I think. No, no, wait, we saved our child. Our child got kidnapped, then we saved her, and I complained the whole time. Um. And we have to go to this club, and we have to go to this, get go to this club, but in order to this club, we have to have a fucking pass. We don't have one. So we're going to talk to a girl who used to work at this club, Oh, I know what the club was. It's a soap land. Which led to a very funny incident of the girl, of the little girl Haruka going, What's a soap land? He's like, Well, it's a ba it's like a bathhouse. Do you go to those a lot? The fuck? 
answer the question, Kiryu. Kiryu? Do you or do you not? Do you not go to the... Yakuza on the run. You've been running around in a circle a lot, kid. <laughs> in context beside Yakuza, I'm really worried. Yeah. So, again, this it's tiny child has some weird freaking connection to some very important shit because of her mom, and we kind of know what it is, and I have been paying attention. I still haven't been staring at Kiryu's mouth going, ooh, I want to kiss that. I promise, I am paying attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am Kiryu of the Dojima family. It says so right here on my pants. Pulls out, pulls out boxer briefs. Like, how did you get those off you? <laughs> you're more infamous than you think. But if that's the case, you're not with the guy trying to hunt me down. Uh-huh. You know, I was going to do plot instead of hunting Majima, but I said, I guess plot means side quest. Oh. Also, go forth, Zephron. Do it. Draw your Sona in Majima's clothes. Wait a minute. That came out wrong. <laughs> Everything comes out wrong if you think about it. That came out wrong. Yes. Hold on. I saw a shiny in the corner. Now I gotta find it. Shiny on the floor. More fucking locker keys. Jesus uh, Christ. Amazing. What is with all these fucking locker keys? Okay, I gotta go and cash in all these locker keys. Usually there's some good shit in there. Maybe you the... are the true lord of the dance, no matter what those idiots at work say. You just open up one, it's like, oh. Uh, oh no, can't show that on stream. Nope, oh. go. close that, close that locker up. We ain't taking that out. Uh -uh. Well, do you remember? I did the uh, whole thing with the girl, with the, uh, with the girl, hostess girls going on dates, and when I finally got to the final thing, it shows very uncomfortable things, and I'm not comfortable with them. Oh, also, thank you, Zephron, for cashing in your fortune. Ah, thank you, Punk Woogle, for catching it. A lot of these fortunes are Weird Al Yanker. Weird Al references. Show them, Core. Show another one. Cash in your fortune. I very much will do. Wheel of Reality. Turn, turn, turn. Show us the fortune that we should learn. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Three. Two, one. Fill that void in your pathetic life by playing whack a mole 17 hours a day. <laughs> Fill that void in your pathetic life by playing whack a mole 17 hours a day. That... Don't tempt me. <laughs> You're welcome. I'd like to point out I did use horoscope for the day for a lot of these fortunes, but I had to get rid of the more meaner ones. There are a couple of ones that were like, eeeen. Everyone with the romance! I mean, it is Kiryu. Just because it's Kiryu doesn't mean we have to romance constantly. I still want to fight Pocket Racer Majima, because you can fight Majima in Pocket Racing, and I just really want to do that. Is that wrong? No, of course, it's probably a lot healthier than fighting him in real life. I just want to go up against him in pocket racing because I just was like, Majima, come! Boyfriend date! This is my ex. Points to pocket circuit racer. Your ex? Yes. Did I fucking stutter? You a pocket circuit racer? But he has a wife! And you were in prison! Was he your prison wife? <laughs> Was he your prison? Don't say, say it. it. See, are you whispering bitch really quietly? Yes. Bitch. <laughs> no, Majima, but you can be my prison bitch. <laughs> Imagine choking on an orange. I can't. Jim, Jim, if I do eat orange, I choke. Allergic. Hi. Death fruit. 
I really need to draw a meme of my character basically reacting to it, an orange like a cat reacts to a cucumber. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Imagine an orange. No. Yes, I have a harem. Excuse me? What? You, a harem? I have a what harem. A it's harem of men? Harem of fictional people, yes. Okay. Not in real life. I wish I had a harem. <laughs> God. Life would be so much easier. I don't know how life would be so much easier, but it would be. I... I don't... Okay. One can do the I dishes! I don't know how polyamory works. If you if you can do it, you do you. But <laughs> But that just sounds like a lot of extra work. I'm sitting here going at the idea of like one can rub my feet and one can do the dishes. I like this idea. Less work for me. <laughs> this sounds like slave labor, but I would pull my weight. I'm just saying, less work for me to do. All right. Uh inventory. What needs repairing? Oh yeah, my Marlin cannon needs repairing. Because who's the idiot who freaking used her Marlin cannon? Get, get the Marlin all set up and ready to fire. Okay, so we're gonna go and talk to. Okay, so do you want to know what a soap land? I explained what a soap land is, right? Mm, not very clearly. It's like a bathhouse with a happy ending. Does that make sense? Hey. <laughs> I see. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, what? why is the Spanish Inquisition up there? No one expects Guys, it. Wait, wait. Good answer. I like that answer. Also, that man just burnt that. Uh, Kiryu, you burnt a man's face off. Although, there was the thing where I was fighting Majima, and I basically had apparently a handful of firecrackers, and I stuck them in Majima's mouth and set the firecrackers on fire. I'm sitting here going, Kiryu, oh. you sick son of a bitch, why would you oh. do something like that? Ara, ara. God dang, I gotta do my ara, aras now. Oh, <clears throat> ara, ara, Zephronart. Ara, ara. Are you giggling maniacally over here? Yes, a little. <laughs> Some people are like, I don't want to hear the auras. Too late, you're hearing my auras. <laughs> my BF did, my I actually had to go look up what the aura aura actually means, and then I was like, oh, well, I guess I threw my dignity out the window. You had dignity? So what does aura aura mean? Something very, very, um... Sexual? <clears throat> Evidently. Yeah, it's an anime thing, my dude. No, with the accent being used, I wouldn't have told. I love how every. <laughs> oh, it means my my or something. Oh. It means oh me oh my. Oh, darling. And we just use it for sexiness. Well, yeah, it's just the English translation of oh me oh my. Oh, darling. You broke someone doing an ara ara. Oh no, I once got broken doing Good. an ara. What? Break someone using ara ara. Let them realize how weak they are. Oh no, I remember when I first put our implemented ara ara. My uh, ex now. Uh, he basically go cashed it in, going, "What's this?" And I go, "Ara ara, honey, ara ara." I didn't even put any enthusiasm into it at all. <laughs> I was like, "Hey." Oh, come. I'm like, you can get that for free. <laughs> Just give me a call and ask me what to do it. There you go. It's like, you never ara ara for me. I go, yeah, because you can get it for free. Oh, ah, we're in the uh, we're at a host club right now so we can get a ticket to go to the soap land so we can see a bunch of naked dudes. Nick, do train. Oh 
know, but um, no, Put I know your that. Hands out as far as you can, folks, and slap some ass. Uh, uh, I know that in the Yakuza game that's set in feudal Japan, which apparently I can't get because it never got translated to America or sent here. God dang it, assholes! Why won't you let me have my 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 feudal era Majima? Um, apparently there's a fight between men in the bathhouse, and so they're naked man fighting, but they have steam clouds over their junk. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get to see anything, but you can see them doing like the oh, kicks and everything, and their junk is just covered with cloud. And I went, ah, oh, that might be why I never came to America. <laughs> just King Arthur popping that into my head. Oh, do we, do we don't wish to play that game. Just a silly thing. Uh, yes we do. We want to do feudal Japan. Jap feudal Japan, come on. I think another reason why they didn't is because it does. It's the characters playing different characters. You know, it's Majima's model playing this other character named something, and they thought, "Oh, this is." Oh no! Oh no! Her little brother. I'm actually paying attention to plot. Oh. oh hell no! No no no! Don't go back to China. There's nothing great in China. Maybe the food, but that's about it. And the sites yeah. and all the other things. But in the bit. Okay, as somebody who's flown all over the goddamn world, I can tell you for a fact, sites don't mean much. Okay, how's the food though? I haven't had Chinese authentic Chinese food, but uh, the way they treat their people. Nope. According to uh, the ex, Mexico has a lot of Chinese immigrants, so he's like, "Oh, I eat Chinese authentic Chinese food all the time." I'm like, "Uh huh." Now, do you eat authentic Mexican food? Yeah. Or as or they just call it food. Food. <laughs> I told you how he left me in a call for 10 minutes so he could get empan so he could get freaking tamales, right? <laughs> oh my god. Did, did it hang up? Just went, hold on a second. And instead, of, and he's gone for 10 whole minutes. And I go, where the hell have you been? I was worried. He's like, oh, I got some got some tamales from a street, street seller. And you didn't tell? Oh yeah, the pollution which can basically sterilize people. Oh yeah, Majima, we need your lo your environmental loving ass to come help us. Where are we going? China. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, to overthrow their quote-unquote democracy. I'm in. <laughs> he, first he's like, I'm not in for this. I go. They're fucking up the environment. And now he's in. He just cocks his bat like a shotgun. How is he doing that? Don't ask. It's Majima. Oh. <laughs> and let's not forget they censored Winnie the Pooh. That was so dumb. You know, that's the reason why Kingdom Hearts 3 didn't release in... in, in, in uh, in uh, China for a long time. That, that just makes me want to put my hands on my head. Well, it looks like somebody can't take a joke. Uh, Majima. Meanwhile, John Oliver has has the Chinese president just swinging from a rope with a freaking honey pot in his hand. Uh, Majima. I love this knife. Why are you holding it like a lover? Why won't you hold me like- I want a man to hold me like Majima holds his knife. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, uh, Majima, is that a knife in your pocket? Are you happy to see me? Okay, thank you. <laughs> My cat is meowing loudly. Yep, that's how cats work. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting to a point where I can identify meows via which one is- which cat is- meowing via their meows because Toshi has a much higher pitch than my marshmallow, I think, or is it the other way around? I don't care. I also can tell you which cat has the zoomies. I'm like, Toshi, please stop having the zoomies. Because uh, Toshi is long-legged, well, normal-legged, and marshmallow is short, stubby-legged, so it's like I can tell the difference via the beats. It's like... Just... <laughs> Basically, yes. It's like... Majima-san. <laughs> I didn't know what the big rush is, but I... Oh, Majima. <laughs> it's fun. It's like meows loudly at 4 a.m. Thought she was talking to you. 
I don't plan on changing the path and walking. Carry on. All right, Majima is gonna fight me with a knife now. Majima has a knife, everyone, and he has five health bars. His health bar is blue. That moment when your cat runs in, grabs hold of the sofa, starts like trying to tear it apart, realizes he doesn't have front claws, and then looks at you like you didn't see nothing. <laughs> Oh, did I? Did I ever tell how my cat nearly threw a hairball up on me? It's your cat, so explanation not needed. Oh, it was it was a lovely Tuesday night. Ah. I was laying there. It was a Tuesday. Ra rather comfortably, just perfect comfy. You know, you don't know where your ass ends and your sheets begin. That level of comfy. Oh, uh, the perfect zen. The perfect yeah. zen comfort. Yes, and as I'm sleeping there, uh, this, this is when I was, uh, I was a weeb fab of 14, just, no, 17, I was a weeb fab of 17, just sleeping there, and in the middle of the night, we all hear it, we all get woken up by it, because it's almost like a Pavlovian effect, when we hear the, and we're just like, please don't be, please be on the linoleum, please be on the linoleum. Exactly. And that was my thought. And I realized, wait, this is my bedroom. Wait, this is where the cat's sleeping. Wait. wait. Why is it in front of me? Then I wake up, and his mouth is right over my face. As he's going, hick, hick, hick. And I... I don't feel proud of it, guys. I don't feel proud. But my first instinct, and my only reason to live, was just to grab the cat and throw him. He's fine, by the way. He was okay. He he landed and just looked at me. Like, dude, I was about to throw up on you. I was gonna give you a gift. Yeah, he's just like he, he just like hits the ground like boom, boom. He gets up, looks at me like motherfucker. Majima, why fuck do you, you keep hurting? You were gonna yak a hairball on me, you little fuck. I have no idea to this day what I did wrong to my cat to explicitly get that level of revenge against me. Maybe he just couldn't hold it in. Ugh. I love how everyone just like anytime Majima's on the screen, it's just it's just love. It's just it's just the romance screen. <laughs> it's just like, oh Majima's on the screen, everyone romance. By the way, do just to clear it up, I do love, I did love that cat. That cat was amazing. That cat gave hugs. You picked that cat up, and its immediate reaction was to spread its arms wide and just hug you. Hey, I finally figured out the thing. There's a stupid calling event you're supposed to do, and I keep failing at it. I finally got it right. The one time I will ever get it right. Because basically all I did was mash the X button. Majima, how are you blocking with a knife? My fist is bigger than your knife. I shit bigger than you. That's not an insult, cat. Oh, I can't freaking fight this one because I don't have the dragon ability yet. I think I might have to cut it short here, but Why? By the way. Uh get gonna spend some time with my my wife. AKA make sure she's on the freaking elect make sure she's on the bike. I mean that too. That that's gonna be be it as well. We might do do some workouts later today. But I just wanted to get get some nice time in with us. And I'll be here doing plot. And looking at plot. And talking about plot. And pray to God that other co-hosts come in. Everybody, give your love to Cat. Advertise my freak. Upon her. Advertise uh it. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbor. Paste the smartphone to your grandma's face. Don't do that last one. I was gonna say advertise the Discord. Oh yes, and advertise the Discord. No. <laughs> Here you go. There's the Discord. Advertise it. Throw it around. 
don't throw it around. But if you wish to join our Discord, we have viewing nights and everything. And now there's hearts everywhere. Thank you, Jim. There's all the lovely hearts. The lovely rainbow, rainbow mafia hearts. All the hearts. Every heart. All right. Except I'll the bro. See you all later. See you guys. Well, him. I'm still here. I'm here with you forever and ever. Yes. Watch it. Watch as Majima slowly goes warm, warm saying, and the, and the echo is off in the distance. Majima husband. Alright, bye y'all. <laughs> I'm staring at you right now. Bye bye. You, poor. Oh yeah, Punk Moogle. Uh, we've already posted up a link to the Discord. You can uh, click on it if you wish to join. Stop punching me, Majima. I am your blow. Blow. Vasectomy doesn't hurt. Got him! Woo! It's okay. Alright. Yeah, beating up Majima. We all love to beat up Majima. No, we don't. We love to cuddle Majima. That makes sense. Ah, the PlayStation 4. It is a PlayStation with a number 4. Brief beat him up and nurse him back to health. What kind of fucking sick, twisted love life do we have? Oh, can someone post the link again? Hold on. On it. I got it, I got it. It's only for moderators.
good news. I don't have enough cards to battle you. Be lucky, small child. Go to sleep, Zephron. Sleep is more important. I see everyone's playing Monster Hunter Rise because it just came out on PC. Behold the face of me not caring. Behold the face of me not caring. Behold the face of... Majima? Majimon, what are you doing in the hole? Yes, yes, yes! Well, I killed him. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go.
There we go. Emin Emin. Emin Emin. Yeah. There we go. My man is drunk as a skunk. We're gonna have to go get some red eye coffee. Not red eye coffee, uh boss coffee. Drinker. I already drank. Coffee, please. West Park. He says this is the final showdown, eh? So we're gonna fight him one last time, air quotes, at the West Park entrance. of me. Yes, he comes often. Ah, okay, that was even bad for me. Oh. Are you the dragon of Dojima? Or is he still sleeping on the job? I'm romanticing you on the job. Yes.
Uh, Nick Kobold has followed my channel. Hello, Nick Kobold. Welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to becoming a foolish mortal and all that. Yay. Welcome to my stream. I hope you enjoy it. Don't worry, we will get you a crypt soon. Soon, one of my little, f one of my little crypt keepers will help us. Crypt keepers, fear the crypt keeper. <laughs> Hello, welcome. This is Majima husband. <laughs> this is Majima husband. <laughs> I was also checking up messages on something, and I guess yeah, people always like to follow when I'm reading messages. Also, I am collecting screen grabs for the wiki. I swear. gonna ask you one last time are you ready to fight me for real in the bedroom yes uh, huh. and it all settles depends on you Majima. here I come Kiru-chan show it to me show me the real dragon of Dojima and let's make out I mean what no making out with Majima he is the enemy Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this. I can do this. I'm the god. I'm a god. Come on, come on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, he has buffering and I can't turn it off because I don't have the dragon style version of it. Meet my potted plant friend.
sounds like a story I remember once, one long ago. A guy told me once he got in trouble for doing that at a, uh, when he was doing a celebration dance and he did a hee hee. And he basically accidentally punched a person and the Karen was just like a mega Karen and the guy basically was banned from dancing in that town. Dancing in the, either the town or the state or the county, one of those things. I remember this story being told to me once. I can't remember what state it was. Stabbing me. He's getting faster! Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Nope. Sha, my kidneys, I need those. Okay, that's it. Potion, potion, potion. Majima. No, he's mine. 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 Arr, mine. Oh, uh, hi, honey. Can you be? Mm hmm. Oh, I'm now a double S. Darn it! I've mastered the daggery and got some gloves. What do the gloves do? Giddy, my ass kicked. My husband hurts. But do you really know? Yeah, here, image of the snake. I got it while hobo fighting. Our next opponent is this man. Huh! I don't know, but from those silver tip wingtip boots, I think it might be Maji husband. Oh no, it's not Maji my husband. Oh, who could it be? man is called the Hana Man. I met him many years ago far to the west. He came to Komotro to do some sightseeing. So I... Uh-huh. Yeah. So what I've met before. Huh! I found that!
He's a man of few words, the only time he is. I do need those kidneys. They're for kidney things. All right. So what am I supposed to do? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at Hanaman. Who is Hanaman? What is it? Because Nick Takamaki overcome the superior war and become as Kovo case prize pupil. It's a lot easier than Majima. Oh, I'm only allowed to fight him in dragon style. It's a style I'm not used to. We all love how the eye patch is over the mask. Can I just keep it under the mask, Lahana man? Nope, you gotta... Off me. Dang it, he shot me in the ass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. You got a super speed and special move. Can't special super speed him because fun fact, my fast fighting style is not available. I must only fight in dragon. if you let me shank him. I hate dragon fighting style. It's so clunky. Why while on the ground? Why while running? Why when using dagger? Right button. Aha! That works! Yeah, I figured out one of these moves.
The art of the bitch smack. No regenning your health. That is my job. No, 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 no. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ugh. It's either because I don't choose fighting this fighting style because this fighting style at the beginning of the game is super weak And then you know the more and more you fight Majima the stronger it gets and all that jazz So I never really used it. I was more of a fan of using rush style But I love but everyone keeps saying rush and dragon are the most OP fighting styles And yet here I am sitting here doing dragon style and failing Okay, okay, come on come on it's hard to explain it. I'm not good at explaining. Words are not my forego. I just stream for a living. I don't stream for a living. I art for a living. Stream is just the other part of the living. Am I just abusing sumo slaps right now? Because it's the one move I can do and I know I can do. will cause a lot of damage. Yes. streams. I do do art streams on occasion. It's just, you know, I haven't done a lot of art that's Twitch friendly lately, so if you catch my drift. I've been doing a lot of not Twitch friendly artwork, so I can't really do art streams. I would love to do more art streams, but again... Yeah. No, Hanuman. No, bad Hanuman. Bad Hanuman. Fuck my kidney. I need those. Also, this game, I think this mode uses a lot of the Y mo the Y button, and I fight a lot using X because they're quick, fast speeds.
Ouch. There we go. I don't think any- I never liked using dragons. I was more of a rush, um, uh, beast style myself. Thug got used, but dragons, not, like, it was not one I used a lot. Oh, good! My inca attack increased against strong enemies while using the dragon of Dojima style. Good to know. So if I lost against the Hannah man, who looks sad. Uh. Wow, I must be a lot of seconds uh, past now. Yeah, romantically. you on the flip side. I can't believe technically Majima says that. Oh, Anyway. Uh, so here's a trick when it comes to uh, rush style, which I've somewhat obtained. Max S, you hit X a lot and then you hit Y. It's like XXX, Y. XXX, Y. XXX, Y. And just do that over and over again and you got rush style pretty down pat. At least for me. Yeah, here. Give me. I got a couple of these ahead of time. <laughs> nah, that'd be a... Wait, why did your Majima Everywhere skill increase if you're not fighting Majima, but the Hanuman? Could it be that they're both the same person? That would be absurd. Can we stand under a waterfall? I wouldn't mind seeing Kiryu under a waterfall. Wet. Mm -hmm. That's a shotgun. <laughs> if you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge much of a smacks. Don't worry, it's equipped with rubber bullet. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay. Time. Rubber bullets, the concept of a rubber bullet is... The bullets that are used in rubber bullets are basically shot out of the equivalent of a freaking grenade launcher. And they're not soft and nice and happy. They're very painful. Not that I know from experience, but I can tell you since they're... I have to dodge bullets. Alright, how do I do that? He made all the blasts from his gun until the time limit runs for it. Don't worry, they're rubber bullets. He shot me! <laughs> I got shot. Let's try this again. I I legitimately dodged into the bullet. <laughs> Alright. Okay, get it through. That's gonna hurt. Okay, this just reminds me of the nightmare that was when I was pro learning freaking beast style in Yakuza Zero, and I just constantly kept getting shot. Okay, just avoid bullets. Ha! Avoiding bullets. Just run. Run. I got shot in the kidneys. 
down with a bag of bricks. Okay, so new plan. Sand and then walk to side. <laughs> God, I'm gonna get shanked a lot. Okay, so here's the plan again. New plan, new, 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 new plan. New, new plan. Stay put, wait for him to aim and fire. <laughs> Sidestep, ole. Let's try this easier now. Yeah, 25 second defla delay. Refresh. Everyone refresh, I actually would be nice. Kiryu looks how I feel. Okay. Okay. This sucks. I am not in the Matrix. I am not Neo. I am not the one. Everyone, just just take take count. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay, let's try this again. Ooh, neck cracks. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Bullshit. <laughs> My inner beast slumbers. How am I supposed to dodge bullets? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Fight. Anyway. Uh. Then let us begin. <laughs> to a barrel. Barrels aren't in this game. Aim. Fire. Okay, just uh, use your dodging abilities. Bullshit! I am not mad. You dodged too fast. If I was in freaking rush mode, I would be the queen of dodging. Yeah, sure. Okay. New, 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 new plan. What, what number are we on in plans? Allegedly, I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> what is this chaotic bullshit? I give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. <laughs> Fuck you, hobo man. No, that no, it just doesn't make sense because as soon as he shoots, I dodge and that bullet suddenly hits me. It's like auto-targeting. You have aimbot on, don't you? You have an aimbot. You dick.
Yeah, that movie that... I'd rather go fight Goro in town, thank you. At least he's not shooting bullets at me. Jeeves! Hello. Shouldn't you be going to the Soapland? We'll go to the Soapland later. We're busy defeating Majima. Our plan is to defeat Majima. Again. I'd rather walk. Because according to my map, Majima's right there, and I'm gonna go play with him. If it's a uh, idol Majima, that'd be even greater. Majima! Sweetie, are you in that garish outfit? Majima! No, but I still want to fight you. Come on. Crush.
No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, my kidney. Oh, my liver. Oh, my lasagna. Take that, Majima husband. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this, I believe in me. Fighting, fighting. Why are you so freaking mean? There we go. Ow, my kidneys. Oh, thank you. I have a sandwich. Excuse me, everyone. I have to go find a ramen place to eat at. to my husband where are you please do not be at the gentleman's club of exotic dancers <clears throat> god damn it 
No, Colonel. You're cute. That is called profiling, and that's wrong. Then. Fighting. So this cop is not legit and is trying to get money from people who look like Yakuza types, aka profiling. That man found out about it and there is a woman in a bikini in the background. Need more drugs though. Drugs. Hi, sir. Yeah, sure. Officer, I need your drugs. And my mother has sneezes. And my drink is empty. And I need a beverage. My mouth is on fire. What did my stepdad put in my freaking Charlotte? In the freaking thing? So go on to Nakamichi Street, which is there. But husband is there. Where is he? He's all the way in that one. Okay. Stealing from anyone is a bad plan. also be on my end <laughs> yeah there's something up going on here I don't know what it is It could be your end, it could be my end, it could be Twitch's end. I don't know why it's acting like this, but it is acting like this, and we're gonna have to just accept it in our life.
Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. High kick. Wah! <sighs> yeah, date with your Cinderella. Hi. Ten minutes ago, I met you. picked what looked like a card from a kid's game off the street then laughed maniacally I will destroy Kiro Chan I don't know what's going on but he's gone he's gone I assume he's gonna pick a fight with you sir oh oh really 
Oh, look! Quit grabbing the glass, that's empty, cat. No. Hmm? Hey, honey. <laughs> I'm about to fight my Jama in the Dirty Beetle Jet game. Alright. Yeah, we gotta defeat Majima in Sexy Beetle game. Let's do this, kids. This is my girl, Horn Beetle. Hi, girl. Sweetie. Lovely. Oh! He has her. Oh, the Devil's Flower Mantis. Majima. Kick my ass. All he was was doing rock. Fuck. There you are, ass blood. Now that I know you, all you do is pick rock. Pick one that has papers a strong ass move. My theory was right.
<laughs> oh, it's almost like you kept using the same move over and over again. Sucks to be you. Yeah. Is that right? I keep playing this, I'm gonna get all out of tune. Manji was all cranky that I kicked his ass in a video game. Feeding the Majima. Feeding the Majima. Mm, 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 mm. Where are you, sweetie? Okay, what does it say I need to do for this one? Sorry guys, I'm getting a little sleepy. There he is. Imagine my husband, sweetie. Which version of Majima? Officer Majima. Boring. I don't need Officer Majima, I need Thug Majima.
Actually, I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm starting to feel a little lightheaded and tired. I need to take a nap. Hold on, let me just try something. Oh, I get it now. Now that we figured out how the freaking target works. Oh, hold on. I just want to play a little bit of baseball. Anyway, oh. I'm going to send you guys off to someone. I don't know who yet. Give me a second. Uh, who is streaming right now? Because I'm not feeling good. Water. I don't want to drink water. Fine, I'll drink water. Uh, 
I will send you guys to...